Guys, I don't know what happened. All I know, guys, is we're talking CIA, and boom! All of a sudden, uh, the podcast isn't there. We did background checks. It wasn't the internet. It wasn't kick. So we don't know what happened. But, but we, something happened. But we got emails from Hillary Clinton. It was, <laughs> it was her. I'm telling you, man. You know, she was once hot. Yeah. I'm not derailing. Really? She was, what, what universe was this in? I agree with that. 21-year-old Hillary Clinton, Google her. She's actually a... Bring you, it up. you would hit? You would hit. You Martin, got me bring fucked it up, up, bring it up. I would never hit that swine. No, back nasty, then she was human. Nasty-ass swine, man. The hot ones you couldn't are pay evil. me enough. The hot ones are always But evil. you gotta... You, I, I appreciate her for her intelligence. She's yeah. one of those intelligent women. She's freezing. By the way, remember I told you about sevens being intelligent? She's a seven. Obama's a seven? No, no. Hillary Clinton's a seven. But is Obama? No, he's an 11. Is he's Trump? The Trump's the a three. Like, uh, Trump's a four, law and order. Oh, right, because he's never drank alcohol and yes, he's pretty exactly. like straight edge. Exactly. Okay. Law and order. Wait, 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 wait. What's Kobe? Kobe is an 11, just like Michael Jordan. So check this out. Michael Jordan, born 217, 1963, adds up to 29. 2 and 9 is 11. Look, he's getting mind fucked. Say uh, that again? Get... What? <laughs> Michael Jordan, born 217, 1963, 217, 1963, adds up to 29, 2 and 9 is 11. Mentor Kobe Bryant, born 823, 1978, 823, 1978, adds up to 38, 3, 8, 11. He mentored Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving, born 223, 1992, adds up to 29, 2 and 9 is 11. So there you have the 11 to 11 to 11. How about them apples? I always see it, Kyrie it, flexing the 11. If that's my flat shoes. earth brother, Kyrie, but hold on. It's way creepier if you guys are here with me. <laughs> and it's way creepier if you're here and you grab his phone and see the billionaires who contact you. We can't talk so, about that. Yeah, I know. I know. Not, did on, I man. name drop? No, no, you can't do that, man. We don't want to do that, man. Now I'm a snitch. I didn't even name drop. All right, Nick, who's the Fed, man? <laughs> Ten four. Ten four. So hold on. 9-11 started you. What were you saying, Chase, before I do 9-11? Were you, you were going to say something? I don't even know. All right, nigga, let's go. <laughs> Could you imagine your first podcast ever, Chase? And he's I'm odd, so jealous. And he's odd with me and you. We're fucking pros at this. And this guy, man, you talk about popping your cherry with dimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking doing good, brother. Uh, bro, I, I, my first podcast was uh, Homosexual on Twitch, ran it with whores that are not even hot. That was my first podcast. That was my legacy. Shit, your third podcast probably could be Joe Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, hey, listen. This man taught me how to manifest too, so. What's that? This man taught me how to manifest, who, so. Who, this guy? That guy. I don't know, I don't know what the hell he's talking about. They, they're saying talk about ago. Kabbalah. Kabbalah, Kabbalah starts with a K. K is the 11th letter. Just like KKK, KKK, why did they do with that? Because K is an emotional number. That's why they did a 9-11. 11 is a very emotional number. When you look at Al-Qaeda, Al-Qaeda was founded August 11th, and they, their three biggest attacks, one was in India on July 11th, one was in Spain on March 11th, and the other one was in America on 9-11. So they keep hitting people at the same time. Why? Because the people at the very top, they understand how emotional energy works, and it's basically around the 11. So when you have stuff like this, people at the very top are like, okay, do things on this day to get an emotional reaction out of people. If it wasn't a rule by evil and it was good guys at the top, would they be using 11s for big celebrations and yes. positive things? Yes, correct. And then the whole world would be well, like, if you, if you look the they'd super, wipe out sin from the world? I'm doing not that? sure if you can wipe out sin as long well, as Well, not hosts. 100%, but the world would be like paradise if it, they were it hitting be, the 11s? It would be more of a utopia, but I don't think the world could ever be paradise because sins create sinners. So I'm not, I'm not sure the world could ever be paradise because yin yang. I personally believe this is heaven and hell at the same time. Because some people are living on earth, it's heaven for them. Every day is heaven. Some people, it's hell. A lot more people, it's hell. Mm. So I believe, um, based off karmic debt from past lifetimes through reincarnation. Ancestral? Something like that. Bloodline. Because um, that's the only way that karma shit makes sense, is if it's ancestral. Yeah, it goes Because there's bloodline. good guys right now winning on yachts. Or, excuse me, bad guys on yachts winning. Do, right now. What, what do they do in their past lives, though? Like you see people. So their like, grandparents are saying you know, we're good. All I'm trying to say is, if you see someone on the side of the street and they're fucking broke and they're fucking living under a bridge, you might say, "Damn, I feel sorry for them." But what they do in their past life to deserve that shit? 
Would it be their ancestor, or do you think it's like an archetype? I th I th They're I think, all one. I think I think the blood has an archetype within it. Into a whole? Would you do it like into a whole race? All black well, men are one archetype. No, 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 no. Oh, I right. think just the bloodline, the bloodline itself. That's why being gay is uh, such a such a issue because you genocide your own bloodline. So if you don't have any more kids, that's the end of the bloodline. That's the end of the fucking. That's genocide. Spiritual fucking genocide. No one ever thought of it. And that it's way. gay. Yeah, that too. Do you have gay friends? Uh, See, that's a fed les question. Lesbians, lesbians, lesbians yeah. Lesbians, what the lesbians, fuck? Lesbians who are from no, listen, listen. <laughs> I, I don't hold, I don't hold women to the same standards as I, I hold men. Do you? Yeah, fuck no. Do you? No. So if you don't hold women to the same standards, why the fuck would I give a fuck if a woman's a lesbian? She don't spread STDs at the same rate as these gay guys. Most women who are lesbians, and tell me if you think I'm wrong. Number one, been probably abused by some man. Number two, probably have never been fucked right by anyone. Never had a fucking orgasm in their life. Or number three, they just have an emotional bond with another woman. Women have that shit. Just an emotional bond. It's haram, I get it, but at this end of the day... It's the one not, guy who can know, take it, my it, community it, from me, bro. You're fucking hilarious. Listen, and he's not, there's no comedy. He's listen, telling the listen, truth. Listen, when it comes down to it, you have people <laughs> who are basically males who spread fucking STDs at a 60 to 1 rate. And here's my... 60 to 1? Are we talking rate. HIV? Yeah, something like that. Uh, syphilis, all that garbage. So And that's it, not put on mainstream media. They no, don't they that. don't want anything to do that. They, they, they want, they, this, this is clown fucking world, dude. Uh, holding your ankles is not something to be proud about, man. I, this is what I don't get, Zerka. There's so you don't many, like rappers? I don't give a fuck. There's so <laughs> They're many, all gay. There's so many beautiful women in this world with beautiful curves, and motherfuckers want to suck dick. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it, bro. I just well, don't get it. I feel in his past life, you were a spiritual leader. Right, you he what sat. You think I am now? Yeah, 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 exactly. He sat with all the kids in the clan. He's like, "Yo, don't do that gay shit." Where does gayness come from? Since you're you're not a Christian, you have a different point no, of view. No, I, I think most of it's propaganda, but a lot of it has to do with like the, media makes you gay. No, I think if you brainwash certain people, then you know through movies. Through the educational system, they'll begin to. Get you know, to, those people it, will say it's hormonal, like he's got no, no, estrogen. It, it, it's, it's well, yeah. There's like, like this. This has no BPA in it. It has no estrogen, but that plastic shit does make huh? some people do that. Really? Like, How much would you have it, to it, drink it, to go gay? Give a me lot, a fucking light. What I'm basically lot. trying to tell you is, there, it's a combination of almost everything. It's that trauma. Be a, it's a trauma. Comp, uh, it's a trauma. It's everything. If you have uh, no father in a home, you're more likely to be gay. So many more single mothers are raising kids. So there's a connection there too with uh, basically not just genes, but also environment. Mm -hmm. Environment plays a role. As a numerology astrologer, I always tell people environment plays a role. So yes, I think that shit is extremely environmental. I liked how you said earlier that to all the gay stuff is trying to reverse the polls like you were talking about live backward evil like just and that, flip flop society that's from the Kabbalion too the polarity they yes. talk about yes. rhythm polarity and all that stuff but it shift the polls you're also saying it's like uh anti-life like it's to it's they don't want to I repopulate. Think, I, I think it's population it, control like a depopulation the, 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 the georgia guidestone said before they were blew up they said 500 million people in perpetual balance with nature Right now, we're about at eight. Uh, I'm assuming the vaccine will take us down to four. They're going to get, they're going to curb people. They want to make sure there's less kids born. I don't even believe it's eight. Eight billion? If, if they sounds, want to sounds, sounds about right. If it, they want 500 million to live in harmony, in perpetual harmony with nature, there's no way they're taking down eight. There's probably like two billion. You think there's only two billion people on the planet? I mean, there's no way to prove it, but you know, most in, in India they have censuses and they have about like 1.3 billion in there. But it's an Indian. China is one. It's an point, Indian. You know, it's still you know, it's it, it's what the about world the population. Time, they say the timeline in history they added a thousand years. Have you seen that? Like Explain. They, the, they warp the timeline of history, so it's like when they say a thousand years ago, they actually mean maybe two thousand years ago, maybe ten. Like the whole history timeline is warped. Like nothing happened when they say it happened. Do you believe that? No, I think Are there's you... certain things in history that have been basically recorded uh, through different sources. So it'll be very difficult. Like for instance, we know when World War One ended. It was basically May second, nineteen forty-five. No, but look, no, but look, you can't lie about stuff like no, that. No, no, no. If we look at millennia, that's a thousand, right? Okay. Yeah, we don't know anything that happened no, a thousand no, no. years ago. No, no. How does technology evolve? It's linear. 
And then throughout history, it's always like stone tools and blah, 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 and steel. And then boom, dot com and technology. Technology has never evolved like that in history. So they're saying that uh, these, this tech stuff is much closer to the ancient world. And they say the ancient world had like harmonics and elect electricity, yeah. like yes. not just Tesla and, and, and stuff. Mo like most people age. ask, how did they move? and make the pyramids. It was I, it was the acoustic stuff. I, I, right? believe, vibration. I, I, yeah, believe, I believe it was vibration based off magnetic energy. And that's so a declassified CIA so document. If you put like a magnet underneath something, no matter how heavy it is, you put another magnet underneath mm -hmm. it, it will lift it. Yeah. I believe that's the type of technology they used to build the fucking pyramids. Like power their cities and all that stuff, they're and using through, them through as, And why, why, energy. why the pyramids, on, would they have Orion's? It, it's basically the all the pyramids are on ley lines. Yeah, you see, that, like that, that's that's basically done to enhance their ability and spiritual powerness. You see, the, like the pyramid of Giza, like it points like within one percent of like true north. Like uh, I, I believe Napoleon did something to stop that, but uh, you, what, know, like, you, you know, Napoleon actually went to Egypt and uh, took a cannon to the pyramids really? and the what, Sphinx. What do, you, what do you think he was trying <laughs> to stop? What a to pit, man. He said, fuck this shit. I don't care how long it's been up. I'm taking a cannon to it. So everyone in history is going to know that mm -hmm. I'm the person who did that. And by the way, Napoleon is one of the biggest fucking alpha males in history. Even though his fucking bitch was cheating on him, he's still one of the biggest alpha males in history. When he came back from prison, which they basically seclusion, they had an army there to meet him. He had an army at his back. Instead of fighting, he went up to his opposing troops threw down his sword and said, if any of you want to kill your emperor, go ahead and do it. Mm -hmm. They all laid down their arms and fucking flooded to his side. But one of the most heroic things in history, and I just felt like putting that out there. I love Napoleon, so this is great, right? I think Napoleon is right below Julius Caesar, but the man himself is Augustus Caesar. Augustus Caesar took Rome when it was crumbling. It was like pretty much at the end where America's kind of laying right now. And uh, mm -hmm. he basically went in there, got rid of the corrupt Senate, made sure he was a dictator, but he was the only benevolent dictator in world history. And what I mean by that is he actually did things that were good for the population. Mm -hmm. He started making morality laws. If you cheated on your wife or your husband, you might get flagged. You might get stoned. Well, he's not uh, the and, only good yeah, dictator. Only, Are we forgetting was, no, Adolf? He was no the only, stop. <laughs> he was the only uh he was the best world leader yeah. in history. You know what else he did? He basically passed laws that uh people couldn't kill their slaves. Mm -hmm. Uh back then people were owners and they thought they could do with their slaves what they want. Augustus Caesar was one of the first ones who said, you know what? They are slaves, but you can't actually kill them. So if you guys want to go down throughout history, Augustus Caesar was basically the first real revolutionary who basically said human beings cannot be killed who's the best president of all time jfk i knew you'd say jfk i He's feel like dudes of the past though is so much harder to gain a big crowd because you have to actually be in front of those people or have the reputation like we can just talk into a camera and reach millions of people like if they live today like and they were speaking their shit like fuck you know technically the internet works for the government because they set this up so they can see, oh, white identity, dissident right movement. Yep. There's the left wing. If we were doing this in person with pitchforks, the government would shit their pants. It only takes like 3,000 people to start a revolution. 3%. So they're like, hey, 3%. Revolutionary war, 3%. That's it. Hey, it's like data harvest too, so they know how to program us. You're a three, get it? <laughs> Let's go. I'm the revolutionary. But if we're, as long as we're online, the government, like, they kind of laugh at us. You know, know the beauty of what they did? Imagine all these services like Zoom, Skype, WhatsApp. They're all free services, but if you're free, they're actually getting more than mm. they actually, yeah. you know, get ask for. Like, for instance, only two things that are really free, porn and vaccines. You know, both that shit's no good for you. So if you move on to what's going on with these services, think about this. The best scientists in the world the best engineer in the world, the best numerologist in the world, they'll fucking get information from the best of the best of everyone mm. through these free services. And then they'll create some fu fucking Heidel, you know, Jekyll and Hyde monster that all those sums couldn't create themselves. And therefore they'll have technology 
50, 60, 70 years ahead of fucking human beings because before these people actually network and get all that shit done, the government has all their fucking work. That's why data is worth more than oil now because they're taking everything they know about the hive mind and using it so they can program us. If they understand our minds more than we understand ourselves, then they can use AI to predictive program like all of us. Like they can use AI to look at our facial expressions and tell if we're lying or not. Like it, they did Hollywood movies, uh, all these war patriotic movies before they did the wars. Oh, for, you're going to work Israel. You remember the movie, the Patriot? Oh, is that uh, okay. my favorite Gibson, actor? So I'm not going to say his name. Gibson, oh, there it is. There it Mel is. Gibson, <laughs> Seven Life Path Capricorn. So this guy in the very beginning of that movie, the Patriot, he has a rocking chair and he's working on a rocking chair. Watch the movie. It's a great movie. The very beginning of it. He has a rocking chair and he puts it down. Before he sits on it, he says, nine pounds, 11 ounces, perfect, just perfect. He sits on it and the chair fucking basically falls apart. That happened a year before 9-11. That movie came out, 2000. They always leave clues. You know why they leave clues, Zerka? It, it was on the Matrix too, the 9-11. Mm -hmm. Do you yeah. know why they leave clues? Um, they have to do it in the material world. So they can do it. Right? They, they, they they have to go ahead. Yeah. It's karma. Exactly. They do it. They they basically put it out there. So they because they're asking tell for people, permission. They too. tell people what they're doing. So they believe that negates their karma. Right. Same thing with Balenciaga putting all that fucking pedophile yeah. shit in their. It's the same thing. reason. It's not, I, it's that's not why your history. Why they tell you history. But uh, some people have said they are psychically asking for permission, and others have said it's like a coke head. How as expensive it is is as coke is. He always shares it because misery loves company. The depressed coke kid okay. will share his coke. Yeah. But I really think they have to ask for permission. They have they, to they for have subconscious. To they have to tell. Yeah, they have and, to. They, you don't ask. They get off on you it, don't too. Get, they you, come don't, on you, that. you don't have to ask people lower than you for permission from energetic energy. The lion doesn't ask the gazelle for shit. Yeah. He fucking tells the gazelle exactly what he's going to do. And that's mm -hmm. what they do. They release their karma by actually telling them what they're going to do. Now, I, I'm, you know, I'm not these guys that all the conspiracy guys think like, let's say Hillary Clinton's evil or the, the ruling class evil. They're not always evil. They have days where they actually give their charity. Yeah, they have days where they want to come back to God. They just always relapse. So that's why people get confused. It's like, is this guy evil? Is this? What, what, They're not. What, no human what, can be evil 100% of the what, time. What has Hillary Clinton done that is uh, positive? Not, okay. she, brought, she brought me here. Okay. Oh, there we go. We're there again. Gotcha. Hey, okay. How did exactly that happen? I'm that Kosovo, curious. 1999, Kosovo. Kosovo. Oh, you're from Kosovo? Okay. Bosnian War. Gotcha. They're talking about the gay frog stuff in the water. I think what people need to understand about that is when you're drinking tap water and fluoride, like they can put hormones in the water and literally make you gay. Drink this. Drink this. This is the best water out there. You know how you know this is the best water? Oh, Fiji. You know how? No, fuck that shit. You know what the best water is? That's the second one. You know how you know this is the, it gets, it's the most expensive. So think about this way. The elite need to go places. They need to travel. They need access to water. So they fucking jack the price of this shit up. So the poor people won't buy this. The rich people don't care about money. They got their water supply. Everyone else is fucking drinking that fucking four hour shit. <coughs> See how the game works? Boom, boom, boom. I think a lot of people don't understand they're depressed because they're putting shit in their body. It's like what you eat and you, what you drink really controls your cognitive ability and how in touch you are with God. Like, think about it. It's the holy water. You need to drink water. Your body is majority water. It's more important than what you eat. Yeah, there's also a Japanese water memory study. Do you remember that? If water, you say water, water, does, fuck you, yeah. water does uh, have um, emotional energy uh, attached think, bro, to it. Think about it. all the water in you. They're using frequencies to distort you like the, your body you're a crystallized being of water you're a physical state no even even that in the 5G. bible <laughs> yeah this, that 5g no they say even in the bible before let there be light it was just darkness and water there's a lot of people make that i argument. call it the matrix's blood you think that's for me like it's yeah, andrew tate ruined waters. the matrix for me uh, that uh, used uh, to be uh, so uh, cool uh, stop, stop, stop. okay he says the Matrix is the government, the Rothschilds. That's garbage. He's never said okay. the word Rothschild okay. in his life. Why yes, he not? Yes, he has. He yes, has? Yes, he has. He, he said has. a Jewish yes, name? He, yes, he says Rothschild before. Not many times. But basically, here's how it, go, it goes. The Rothschilds run the world within the Matrix, but they are not the Matrix. The Matrix is basically a simulation, a virtual reality. And that's why numerology and astrology work, because they're the cheat codes within this virtual reality. You learn the cheat codes, you start understanding how this world works a lot quicker, yeah, and, and they, you start stop making mistakes too. They, would, would you be affected less? You get fucked with less if you master that? 
Yeah, the orange, orange pill. Yeah. Why do you call it orange? Uh, orange so uh, this? adds up to 33. So uh, all the words, O, R, G. Oh, they, they you got the it. orange pill. And that's why it's orange. Red, red pill has lost red, its traction. Red pill is nine. Red pill is associated to the root chakra, which is basically associated to sex. Think so I'll, I'll give you an example. The root, do you know what chakras are? Yeah, you're okay. talking about sacral yeah, chakra. Okay. So it's not just people who have chakras. It's also the earth itself that has chakras. And by the way, you can feel these. This isn't hocus pocus. You can feel a sensation, throat chakra, third eye. You can feel 100%. these wheels. You can feel them. So when it comes down to the earth, the root chakra of the earth is San Francisco. That is why they perverted that to the LGBT. Wait, what do you mean by that? The, root, the sexual mm. energy within the earth, the main place, is by San Francisco. That is where the root chakra of the earth is located. That is the main sexual organ of the earth. So they basically made sure that was LGBT capital because they knew if they did it there, it would spread everywhere. Proof. There is a tree. Wait, then what's Israel? Hold up. There's proof that um, in in San Francisco, uh, Sacramento area, there's a tree that grows in Northern California that doesn't grow anywhere else. It's called the redwood. Oh, Again, red, where Republicans red, stand red. there. The, the Bohemian Grave. Right? 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 So basically, when it comes to about that redwood, it basically shows you it's connected to the root chakra system, which is basically the sexual organs. They made sure to pervert San Francisco on purpose because that is the root chakra of the earth. They knew if they did it there, it would spread everywhere. They're smart. What's Israel then? Israel, I would not call... Because uh, me, it's a holy I, war. For a Catholic's position, I, it's a holy war. For you, I, I, Israel would be I the think, asshole. I think, not the... I think uh, Israel is very strategically placed because of the Dead Sea. I think the Dead Sea is extremely important. But there's no organ? You wouldn't assign no, no, an no, organ? No, there, there is. There is. I, I'm not going to go into what it is, but there is one there. I'm not going to go into what it is. He's going to say not, it's the heart of it's the not, world. It's not. It's not. It's not the uh, crown. It's not the heart. It's nothing like that. Don't you feel um, good down here in the Florida sun? Like you just feel charged uh, by it. Actually, in Masonic literature, they talk about humans being solar capsules. And it's not for vitamin D. It's literally SOL. You get soul if you stay in sunlight. Like your soul burns it, more. It, you need the, it. The Masons believe the sun is God and it gives life. Yeah, that too. But, uh, but the, I'm talking about they have like uh, medical books. Are, are you a traveling man? Bro. Whoa, what the <laughs> hey, fuck? Hey, hey. What the fuck? How do you know that? You know that. Yo, you're, that's, you're a Mason, aren't you? That's how you know what that means, huh? No. Zerka, <laughs> Zerka. Think about atoms are 99% empty space. So everything's light. Like light carries information. So the more you're in the sun, you're literally getting the knowledge of Christ. You know, I, you guys are not religious at all. No, no. I believe in a higher power, though. No Bro, doubt. All of that. Like, is, like for, I you don't believe there's a human who got divine or divine psychic revelations to write on paper? Stop. Wow. That's all of us. I mean, Stop. we're. we're technically you guys are going that. against the thing that brought. Every civilization. What proof do you have that a literal Muhammad fucking started writing a book at, uh, at 40? Well, that's Look, fake this, news. This, this, this that is, one's fake news. This, this is garbage, man. Okay, I have. there's no proof of that. Do there's you believe no, signs and symbols do, rule the world? Uh, yes, but I do not believe uh, Mary got pregnant without getting fucked, okay? I'm, 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 I'm keeping it real. I do that's not why he's that's going possible. to hell. Check this out. Do you uh, believe okay. Freemasons believe this and... Geniuses and philosophers do signs and symbols rule the world. Yes, it rules the subconscious mind too. Which fucking symbol is the largest? That's the cross. I would say that's the, the cross. I would say the Jewish pyramid. Two pyramids upside down, one going one up. I think that's the probably... seal of Solomon is not more well known than the cross. Are you I, kidding? I, Everyone I, knows not what the fucking well, cross. Is. Not more well known, but um, it's more hidden. For instance, Carl it, Jung said, if one symbol like the cross can touch a billion lives. Just what about just the Walmart? That, what about Walmart? It, there's truth there. What about Walmart? You ever see their symbol? I know they do something with religion. Seven Up is the and, seven and, and, and planets can, can of antiquity. You, can you, can you pull, uh, is pull, Nike actually pull, Saturn's pull, logo? And, you, yes. Can you put up? Can you you're put the most anti-Semitic Jew I've ever met. I love Jews. I love Me my too. people. Okay. All right, man. Uh, uh, put up, put up Walmart symbol. I want people to see this. Uh, you guys are about to trip out. You 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 said see no yeah that, no put it the blue one. Oh, now, I you remember see that? This. You oh, see no. that? You, no, it's right there. That's cool. Maybe see that? You, okay, make sure that uh, everyone there can see it. I remember this. I just forgot. Okay. I, I now you see how Walmart has six 
six little spots, six little rays. Are you gonna That's see a Jewish star, bro. It's hidden in plain sight. The, the Waltons, if you take all the Waltons' money combined, they work more than Musk. So again, that's this, not a Jewish family, Wahlberg. No, oh yeah, not, they are. But I'm trying to show you they're paying homage, bro. This is how you pay homage in a hidden way. Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone is so blind to this stuff. It's so easy to so see. So like the Gmail sign is like the yes, 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 one hundred percent. Yeah, Again, that one. Yeah. What, uh, what about the Nike logo? If you bring it up, apparently how Jews? Uh, well, these they're not no, Jewish let's people. Say, let's say Zionist. Yeah. Okay. I, I want to say Jews. oral law. Like, I am Jew. I am a Jewish man. They are Zionists. There are a difference between Jews and Zionists. Okay, this is where Kanye fucked up. Mm. He should have said Zionist and not Jews. Zionism is a political movement. A lot of Jews are in it, but there's Christians who are in it too. Being Jewish is actually being Jewish. Those are two different things. Kanye fucked up. He should have went in and said Zionist instead of Jews. He wouldn't have these issues. And he'd have... Um... And by the way, I'm going to tell him that when I see him. It's all the banks. I think people just keep overlooking that. It's like they keep thinking of religion and not in the sense of money. Like follow where the money goes. Stop thinking in all the terms of religion. That's no. Wait, when God. you th when you think of a regular Jewish dude, he's not really here to defend any conspiracy or whatever you bring to him. But a Zion will defend. He'll instinctively get defensive. But sometimes they're Christian Zionists. Those are the worst. <laughs> Those are <laughs> evangelical. No, I think you know who I think are the worst is the Jehovah's Witness. You can't tell those people <laughs> shit. Like a Muslim will actually listen. I've had clients in the house of Saud. You know, I've given readings My to favorite, people at the very top of the food chain. The, Not the show of his witness. They ain't trying to listen to shit. The best group is the black Hebrew Israelites. Those guys make yeah. they make white people kiss their boots. Have you seen those YouTube yes, videos? I, I, they're I thought, extreme, I, bro. I thought they were all like a setup. Is that like for real? Those aren't yeah. like paid actors. Well, they make some okay arguments. I'm not going to say I believe that stuff, but like. They make good, uh, okay arguments. Man, it, it would... It, you know Speaker's Corner? They're all there. Yeah, dude, the I language. would never get down and kiss anyone's shoe. Yeah. Are you fucking out your mind? Do, do you white people know? Do you white fucking liberal trash know that white people were actually slaves to blacks too? The Moors, actually a very powerful black tribe, invaded Spain. That's why all those people in Spain have a much darker complexion than the people in Florence. Because they were conquered. And the, all the white women there were raped. So again, every 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 race has been on top. Every race has been fucking slaves. And by the way, to say that it's white privilege in this country or any other, when 100 years ago, whites were 30% of the world population, and now they're fucking like 7 or 8% of the world population, this is garbage, man. Whites don't work anything anymore. Indians come to this country and make more money than whites. Pakistanis. Uh, everyone comes in here except maybe blacks and make more money than whites. And the reason the blacks to make, uh, would make less is because most black households are led by women. How the fuck is a woman going to teach a boy how to become a man? I don't know how that does. Maybe, maybe one out of every hundred women can do it, but it's just not viable. And that's why people who are of African American descent in this country, that's why they're usually in poverty because they're led by women. Well, there's some people who say black people, like, let's be honest, to be a genius, you got to think very fast. No one thinks faster than Kobe receiving, well, right? Yeah. But they say this is a different type of like, neural pathway where it's like they're made to be athletes or they got a lot of soul for music and entertainment do you believe that certain races are meant to do yes. certain jobs yes really I, th I think uh black people are much more creative than uh white people i think white people strength comes in technology most of the cars most of uh airplanes most of the computers were pretty much invented by whites so I think every race is really good. Like the Chinese, they're not really good. They're industrious. At, no, 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 they're not really good at creating things. But the Chinese are very good at reinventing the mousetrap, making a, the mousetrap better. They find the flaws in the design and make oh, it like better. Oh, like fine tune. Yeah. So they That's they find the highest IQ. They, they do very. I'm not. I'm not sure if they should be the highest IQ because they lack creativity. So when you lack creativity, you have a glass ceiling. Here, this is why America worked, because America always got the brightest immigrants from all over the world, the fucking brightest Nazis, the brightest blacks, the brightest whites. They all came to America, and America had that intellectual power. Now, people aren't proud to be Americans anymore, and that's a fucking fucked up thing. Because you have to understand, it's only the white trash in this country who wants to be communists. It's only the white trash in this country who tells you, oh, 
Uh, let's move to socialism so it's mo more fair. No, you're a fucking loser. And you can't fucking compete. And you want fucking handouts like a fucking woman. That's what it comes down to. I can't stand fucking people like this, dude. There's one thing I do not allow in GG33. Fucking communists. As a matter of fact, if you guys want to know who one of my heroes is, General Franco. Look him up and see what he did to communists. I love this because, guys, what do you think feminism is? All that equality shit? That's like a branch of their religion of communism, right? Uh, they have, you know, the feminists started with the communists because in the 1930s, when the communists started infiltrating America, what would happen is they would take a couple whores and take them to a union meeting and just fucking, hey, who wants to fuck these bitches? And all of a sudden they start, you know, infiltrating the top leadership yeah. of the unions. This is what communists do. Communists always find useful idiots. That's why, you know, when it comes down and to And the useful idiots, they get... Yeah, yeah, They're yeah, the yeah, first yeah. to go when they uh, get there. Iran, 1979. The liberals uh, teamed up with the uh, Mujahideen and the uh, uh, conservative Muslims who wanted to pass Sharia law. They teamed up to get rid of the imperial Shah. Once it happened, the liberals thought they were going to have uh, democracy. They thought they were going to have a, a republic. Instead, yeah. they were told to line ISIS up against time, the wall. Let's go. Yeah, put your hands yeah. on the wall. They fucking got a bullet to the head. So this is what happens. Liberals are used as useful idiots in democracy because civilized people don't want to kill their own people. And then after the whole shit falls, the people who started the revolution actually start putting bullets in people. Do you know what the scariest moment in history was, probably? 1979 when Saddam Hussein took power. And you want to talk about a gangster. This guy forced the vice pre the president to resign. And then he took power. And then he called all the leadership of the Ba'ath Party. And he walks into an auditorium, smoking a cigar. And he just doesn't say anything. He starts calling out names. And then when you, he calls out a name, security guards come. They drag that person out. Two minutes later, gunshot. And this happened for about six hours. People were in there trembling. Could you imagine you're scared that your name's about to get called and you might fucking be shot? Mm -hmm. This is a common, this is, this is brutal. That's called mentality. ending corruption, by the way. I mean, it, it, unless you're corrupt as hell, you know, to begin with. But off your point, too, I feel like they used, like, white rich people's, like, they love to virtue signal. And they use that to... Liberals? Yeah, Democrats. Yeah, that's what they're good at, for sure. Like, they're like, oh, we love the gays. We love black people. We all this. It's like, they're have, bad. Have, have the good. gays babysit your kids, then. Yeah. <laughs> and they're just virtue signaling all day long. Have you seen the overlap on gay men and pedophilia? Go look at that chart. It's hard to find. It's ridiculous, bro. It's They overlap so much. It's like, bro. Yeah, listen, I'm not saying there's not good gay men in the world. There's just, good I, ones, but I if you start talking about I, kids, I, I, they I start smiling. I haven't met too many, but here, here's the point. Why are they fighting so hard to be around kids? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why do they fight so hard to be in Boy Scouts? Why do they fight so hard? And here's the point. It, it, when gays won their right to adopt, when women, gay women, lesbian women adopt couples, they don't care if it's a boy or a girl. Yet when it's gay men couples who adopt boys, for mm -hmm. some reason, 90% of the time, they want little boys. Now, I'm not saying anything. I'm just pointing out stats. Why are these gay men who are foster parents insisting on little boys, yet when it comes down to it, the women don't give a fuck who they have? That, that's just interesting to me. Mm. If someone has something to say, to, you know, say this is bullshit, cool. But I just want, uh, why? Why and, is that? And you know, they're fe gay men's fetish, and this is just comedy, gay's men, gay men's fetish is not actually a male it's deviancy. That's why they don't get married. They go to penthouses with eight other men and have orgies. Well, they don't actually get married, like, you know, one on one. Sounds like the war room. And <laughs> it's because the mind gets warped. <laughs> You're worse than me, bro. Leave them alone. Okay. They've, they've got enough punishment. But check this out. These get, and they never talk about gay men like this. Like the Andrew Tate crowd will never talk about gay stats like this. Uh, They're it, smart. Those I, are businessmen. I, I, I think I think there's two different war rooms. I think there's a war room in Dubai, and I think there's a war room in Miami. And I think the war room in Miami has a lot more haram shit than the war room in Dubai. But that's just my are, personal opinion. I mean, which one's Miami? straight? Uh, the one in Dubai, probably. I'm gonna walk in that one, right? Fucking. I feel like they pushed 
accepting all the gay stuff on us so much too because it was like psychological projection it was their insecurity that they don't accept <laughs> themselves so they're like forcing us to well, accept no, he them thinks so the elites validated. are straight the very top of the game the, the puppet top. elite like you know obama like the clintons i yeah, think I you're think wrong they, here i think they suck someone off for sure i think i think you're wrong because you know alistair crowley he said all of his black magic influential uh, dark arts came when he first had his first ever homo I, I, homosexual experience. He hated gays. I, he tried it, and then and then he started doing. He got him to trance like states in the desert, fucking a dude in the ass in front of well, a camel. I think that's what fucking God meant by like once you do that, your your psyche goes into pure degeneracy. You're, yeah. you're just you're addicted to chaos. Yeah. What's pain. the opposite of holy? Your butthole. <laughs> so you're going away from oh, God. You're good. supposed to. And I even tell people when you. First of all, when you pray, you should be showered and clean. That's how I do it. You should. Some people pray, they're like sweaty and shit like that, or you fuck the dude and pray, like what the fuck? But uh, yeah, gay, apparently uh, the highest level of black magic is always sodomy. Well, always. That's how they control a bunch of men is you feminize them, you make them gay, because then they're just submissive. Like that's they're, in they're my psyche is submissive. That's in my documentary is Kay Griggs. You heard about when, this bitch? When did this come out? Uh, I got like another month, but... Uh, in my documentary, she talks about the easiest way to psychically control someone is gay sodomy rape ritual. And most special forces worldwide, they bring you whores and prostitutes, get you get the young mm -hmm. new newcomers drunk, and then the generals they're called cherry marines when they're going up rank cherry because they're getting their cherries. Gotcha. Bumped. They get fucked by the generals, and it's not just a satanic top. It has to be done just like skull and bones just like all of these groups you have to get fucked in the ass i was, when i worked i used to be a rosicrucian they're straight they weren't homosexual but dude everyone they knew from these they're not secret societies these are open societies yeah, yeah. open societies. they're all homosexual secrets. bro most freemasons and stuff you, they can do you, gay can, hazing David, can you pull out the knights templars can you pull out their logo because all this stuff comes from the knights templars the Jesuits, all these organizations think, think come from the Knights Templars. Based. Oh, based watch this. Fun. We're about to pull this up. I'm about to show you something. I wish Alex Jones knew this. Alex Jones, man. No, no. Go, put up their logo. Just put in a logo. Knights Templars. Right, right there. Right there. That two horse. That, two, that horse. Right there. Yeah, do that. Right there. Yeah, now put that for everyone to see. It's like a Spartan thing. No, no. It's, it's a, little, a little bit more than that. See, everyone see that? See that right? So, so basically, these guys were fucking uh, fags, and this was their symbol because they were all homosexuals. Two men on a horse. Yeah, you don't have to call them faggots, bro. Uh, yeah, you can. <laughs> I, got you, I got you for that. <laughs> You're a fed. Wait, wait, explain it again. So you got two men on a horse. What the fuck do you think the guy in the back is doing? <laughs> Riding. You know, exactly. <laughs> He's going to war. He's, He's a real man. man. Spartans were gay? Uh, I, I mean, hell, dude, I wasn't there. I couldn't tell you, man. But I can look at the symbolism and tell you what the fuck this means. And it's not anything kosher. Apparently, the greatest generals, warriors throughout history, always had a young man. Julius boy Caesar to was fuck. not a fag. Really? Uh, no, Augustus Caesar was not a fag. Uh, Napoleon definitely was not a fag, dude. They fucking caught I letters. I love Caesar, so I hope he's uh, right. You know, they, uh, they caught letters of Napoleon going to his other generals. They intercepted them. And he was complaining how his wife was cheating on him, uh, all this other stuff. But there is never anything in there about homosexuality. You seen that Hitler's homosexual Yeah, stuff? He, he was. He, he, you he, believe he, that? No, Hitler had something called the brown shirts. Before the SS yeah. was born, it was the brown shirts. Which and started the, with the wizard. It, it, Did you see that? And the brown shirts basically were a bunch of homosexuals. They were his, basically his hood, his hoodlums before he got the SS. So there was something called the Night of the Long Knives, where he basically went out there and he fucking killed all these guys. And so, they're all from the Tool Society? Yeah, exactly. Or, or oh, you know about Tool. that, huh? Good for well, you. Wasn't Hitler on just drugs 24-7? No, apparently you can't generate that much power and influence without doing sodomy. You have to do this part. Uh, or there's another one. So Eyes wide on. shut. Sacrifice. Baby yeah, sacrifice. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, Tell no, no, them okay, about okay, what happens okay, on okay. Epstein Island. It's not rape. It's, it's, there's uh, way more. I'll give you an example. When um, Bruce Jenner uh, was basically uh, in an accident and he killed somebody, uh, within two months he became trans. So what happened is the people at the top of the game basically went up to him and be like, yo, you want to go to jail or you want to make fucking millions of dollars? 
So he basically chose to become trans, make millions of dollars. The, the fact that he killed someone in a car accident got conveniently wet under the rug. So sometimes... Kobe was a, a sacrifice. Uh, I think what happened was Kobe's daughter was supposed to be their trans, and he refused to do that. So I think that has no, to do No, he beat with, LeBron's... Uh, like, when LeBron beat yeah, him... Yeah, yeah, Dwayne yeah, Wade, yeah, like Dwayne Wade took yeah, the yeah, spot. Yeah, so, yeah, exactly. Dwayne Wade took Kobe's spot. So Dwayne Wade uh, is going with his child becoming trans to go with the agenda. But Kobe, I believe he refused to deal. I personally believe Kobe was a real soul. Do you he, want to talk about what you talked about with the uh, after the plane go down? Why and all that happened after? Oh, um, Kobe's it, name in Japanese, Kobe means COVID. So he he was he got Wouldn't killed. Wouldn't it be Hebrew? Why not Japanese? Hebrew, exactly. I mean, it, it, that's why did it you say? Japanese. Oh, it's not Japanese. Okay, that's good. why I believe it's you said it, you said Hebrew I earlier. You're was, right. I yeah. believe it was Hebrew. Whatever. It's in one of those languages, and when people say that, they're basically manifesting mm. Kobe as manifesting COVID. So that's why they had him killed right before the COVID outbreak came. And did you see Alicia Key, it. what she was doing? She, Alicia Keys during this ceremony, they had that all prepared. Like, yes. they knew he was going to die. I was like, whoa, yes. what the fuck? Mm. I mean, they even have a, a cartoon of Kobe fucking yeah. going down Pass. the plane. It's something you about know, passing the ball, and then it explodes. You know, and he I'm, I'm, I'm surprised the Simpsons didn't do an episode mm. of it. They always get shit right like that, man. They, people think I'm a fortune teller. Go watch The Simpsons. Those fuckers get almost everything right. Even my fucking billionaire buddies say it's uncanny how The Simpsons... And you have to understand, these people don't believe in this stuff. And they're fucking bringing me, texting me clips about, yo, did you see what The Simpsons predicted? The Trump one was my favorite. Like, they nailed it. Even yeah. coming down the ladder or mm -hmm. the... It's creepy. Well, you know, uh, Trump's uncle was going through Tesla's work. Now, Tesla, let's get into this. Not just the <laughs> coils. This guy talked about infinite ether energy coming from the fucking stars and planets. Yeah. And nobody talks about that. Well, th well, that's what I'm telling you. Donald Trump's uncle was the one who, uh, for the government, went in and took all of his work and started doing all this research. After he got that stuff, the Trump family became very wealthy. So Donald Trump is connected to Tesla in a way. Mm. They're all connected. Obama, go back to Indonesia. He's related to the biggest gangster in Indonesia. You know Obama's worth fucking 10 times what Trump is worth? Yeah, I know that. Oh, come on, man. Yeah. This guy has all his money. Can, fucking Hillary Clinton's guard. worth 100 times what Trump's worth. She's a actually, actually, Hillary Clinton is very dumb with uh, Bill Clinton. I, I'm going no, to be keep it real because everyone knows the Clintons are fucking con artists because every, all that money was going through the Clinton Foundation, all that money through Haiti. The Haitians got 2% on the fucking dollar. All, they know that and be people know they're guilty. Obama is stealing so much more money. He fucking sent $1.5 billion to Iran, probably got a fucking 40% kickback on all that money. And everyone thinks Obama's clean, but oh, the Clintons have stolen a lot less. And everyone thinks they're guilty. So the Obamas head and shoulders above the Clintons. These guys are amateurs so, uh, compared how, to the how, fucking how you, Clintons. How, how do you that enter is, office with like eight hundred thousand dollars and leave with like six hundred million? Ask, seven, ask Nancy that, Pelosi. How the fuck do you do that? It's ask not as Nancy book. Pelosi. No, ask her husband. That mm -hmm. nigga knows how to trade. Oh, you, you mean <laughs> the guy who got hit by a hammer with his gay lover? Yeah, that was real news. That shit was <laughs> That shit's wild. real. That shit's real. They I try to the cover video. up. They try to, but the uh, video, the, the cops come in, and this guy just takes a hammer, and the guy doesn't look all there. They try to say the guy was MAGA. Fuck all that. This guy was liberal to the core, gay rights, all that shit. They opened the door just so casually. It was the uh, funniest. And he's holding movie. his hand. He's like, yeah. well, what are you doing with the hammer, sir? Put down that hammer. And he fucking went straight to his head. I'm like, wow, this LGB fucking crowd is nuts. Dude, someone said this content's gold. You'll never, ever see anything better than this. Because no. everyone else that I collaborate with for truth or stuff, they're not into the conspiracy. They like politics more. This is way better. Go into MK Ultra. Yeah. Right? Because they say they mastered it in they, World War II. They they say they shut down MK Ultra. I personally believe Obama's MK Ultra. There's certain people who are too fucking good. Obama is fucking gold. Like, I, let's be honest, man. You're good at what you do. I'm good at what I do. Obama is like the top of the food chain when it comes down to it. He's been trained. Yeah, watch he's his charismatic tone. as watch, fuck. Watch, watch his tone. Yeah, he watch got, how he talks with his yeah. hands. Obama is the, the pinnacle. Highest Louis, level deceiver. Louis Farrakhan is right up there.
Louis Farrakhan, he's born on the 11th. Obama is an 11th life path. So you start seeing it. Uh, Ronald Reagan, remember him? He was the he was the uh, Obama for the Republicans. Guy, yeah. He was an 11th life path too. What about so, Nixon? That's Nixon, my favorite guy. Nixon was a rat. Man, Nixon's the only one who said Bohemian Grove is the most goddamn he, he, faggy he, thing I've ever seen. He was also the only non-Mason free uh, yeah. uh, president until just a crook. After, right? yeah, he was just a crook. I was surprised. My favorite president. To, I was a <laughs> really because you say, hey, he's the only one who said this shit's gay. I, I, Everyone else I, is like, I, fuck I, it, we'll I, go I, to. If your... you look at Nixon, he's the one who made the deal with Mao. In 1972, oh, to get, and, yeah. and he's the one who basically made China a superpower. Yeah. So I would uh, honestly think Nixon probably is a traitor. And all honesty, I think thanks for reminding me of, to talk about him because I'm probably gonna go piss on his fucking grave. Or if you hate <laughs> Nixon that much, <laughs> fuck him. Just stop by Biden first. Well, I'm like I told you, I don't drink haram. But the next time Biden goes. I swear to God, I'm calling, know, he's joking, I'm, I'm, he's joking. I'm calling, I'm calling you up, and you're, we're, we're the, the audience is going to pick what the fuck I'm going to start drinking. I'll fucking drink moonshine. Fuck that <laughs> motherfucker. I will drink, I will get drunk, and I haven't got drunk since John McCain died. Damn. So again, Republican McCain. too. This is, you know, goes both ways. Would you, cons are you, would you consider yourself a Republican, or you think no, it's... No, I'm a conservative. Fuck the Republicans. Yes, they're gay. Okay. <laughs> yes. All right, we're on the same page. Republicans, is it like 60% of them are gay? Everyone's gay so, now. Listen, like, listen, when it comes to Republicans, I've been in the room with these guys who are senators, who get, these guys who are congressmen. Let me tell you something. They're above average intelligence. These are not the smartest people in the world. They're like, the average IQ is like, what, 100? They might have 110. So they're like employees yeah, for the system. Yeah. I, the people who finance them, they're the ones who call the shots, dude. Mm. The, they talk about kingmakers. Kingmakers are very simple. Uh, when it comes down to it, there's people out there who control political parties. Like, for instance, Nancy Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi's dad is a mobster. Well, he, they, they, simplify for Zoomers. Basically, chat. imagine we're po po politicians. We'd be begging like dogs for the top donator. The top donator in this chat who sends the most money... That's what politicians do. Yeah, they try, yeah, they try and get sense, his endorsement. In a sense, in a sense. I mean, that's the same thing preachers do. They go out there. Could you imagine these preachers? They're the best in the fucking world. They have a whole bunch of poor people. And you have these preachers who go up and start saying this. Ladies and gentlemen, I am a servant of God, and I love you. And as a servant of God, if you want to show faith, you have to give me some money. Because if you have $5 in your pocket, that means give me two, and I will bless you because I am a servant of the Lord. That's what they Amen. do. That's, Amen. That's Kenneth do. Copeland guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, that's yeah. Actually, that's Brother Love from the WWE. Brother Love? Brother Love. If you want some good content... Look up Brother Love uh, on YouTube from WWF back in those days, man. Gold. It, what, what, do you, gold. What, what is this? Why are evangelicals? I always I get different resp response from everyone. Why are they in love with Israel? Why are they? Because they think they'll go to heaven if they did, give did, enough did, did, money. Because the I believe the Bible was rewritten, the King James Bible, and it says uh, Jews are the chosen people. So after you put that propaganda in there, after a couple of generations, they start reading it, believing it. Remember, um, everyone was against the creation of Israel in the 1920s. The Christians all over the world said, no, easy no, no. Now, easy no, here. no, no. So what happened? You had World War II and everything changed. Mm. That's it. I mean, we're, we're cool. <laughs> what do you think World War II is really over? What, what it's about? Mm. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't he respond. He's going to repeat that one. Don't repeat that. But uh, Zer so, Zerk is tapping out on yeah. that one, man. No, no. It, it really, when you see the end game being that uh, state I'm not going to mention as the end result of World War II, yes. it, it gets a lot less foggy. In your head. Like the mm -hmm. history starts to go, whoa, this is. And, and, and again, Jews are the smartest people in the world. And if you have a problem with that, you don't understand how history works. These are very, very smart people. Basically, um, what he's saying is most broke and middle class Jews and the rich ones, too, actually all said, bro, we don't want to leave Germany. We're fucking running the that game. True. That We're running true. the game. And so the Jewish so or the Zio elites were like, you don't want to leave Germany? Get, get Adolf right now. And he's going to crack the whip and take them to the whole pr promised land. 
And the, not that many went at the beginning. It was like it, it was three, called, five thousand. It was called a transfer agreement. What would happen is, yeah, we're not doing this, bro. We're doing comedy. No, no, but fuck this what, shit. What happened was this is the final solution to my fucking career. You're, you're fucking ending. We're not doing this. He opened this fucking podcast with what's oh, it? Was it six million? <laughs> bro, hey, nobody hey, does hey, that. Hey, I can say this: if this man's scared to talk about this shit, man, I will find one person. I'm getting intel it. saying stop talking. It's not just chat. It wasn't six billion and one. Or 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 one under six million, whatever. When you refresh on Wikipedia, whatever that says, that's how many. Go died. back to 1913. It says six million Jews died in Russia. It's always that six number, just like Walmart with their whole. I gotta be. I gotta hear. Yeah. Take, take him down. <laughs> so here's what it comes down to. You have to understand that people in positions of power. The most base dude on the internet is Jewish. You're like the biggest truth, there. Guy, Your own people are gonna slaughter you. My <laughs> own people love me. They love me. Everyone loves me except uh, NPCs <laughs> and feminists and communists <laughs> and LGBTs and a whole bunch of other fucking degenerates. And you know what? I, I, I really think that people should just um, tell someone who actually gives a fuck. What do you think about that? Do you want to talk about like how? Damn, they all want to change the subject. No, Woo! no, I'm talking about, it's like Ric Flair. Woo! Go ahead, man. Even when you and me are walking around like in public or getting food, it's like people are just either snarky or super, super kind. It's like when you're the super kind ones, I tip well. Yeah, well, <laughs> but I mean, I feel like I'm a good tipper, man. I feel like a lot of people need to understand that, like, even I'm sitting on this podcast right now because I stopped caring about what people think of me. It's like, and you're gonna get a lot of hate for it because. The higher you go in life, you're going to make people around you feel inferior. And it makes them look in the mirror and start to think, you know, am I doing enough with my life? And a lot of people don't want to admit that to themselves. So instead, they'll hate on people who are trying to help you and trying to give you content that you really want to hear and talk about. And like, y'all got to stop getting so hateful when like, we don't talk about just everything you want to hear. Like, if you don't agree with 100%, but Fuck you agree you, with 90%, like, what are you talking about? Like... You're either following this type of stuff or you're being brainwashed. Tell me to get vaccinated. Yeah. It, think about how outcasted we were during the whole vaccine shit. But that was a big act of submission. Like wearing the mask. It's like it's, it's trying to make the slave be more obedient. So they're going to give you little tasks to, you know, trick your subconscious mind into being submissive. Listen, I think everything you said is on point. But the fact of the matter is these people try to kill us. Yeah, no. It, and they, they literally tried to kill us. And um, basically, it's the biggest psyop in world history. And feminism is right up there. You know, I, I honestly yeah. I honestly think most of the problems in the world today come from feminism. There's not one thing you can say that doesn't come from feminism. Broken homes, poverty, it, uh, any, 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 anything to do with criminality mm -hmm. comes straight up from feminism. They We're have not. to destroy the family unit. The family unit is the most important thing. You have to understand something. If you don't have a family, there's only one fucking place to turn. Mm -hmm. Big daddy fucking government. And that's exactly what they want. Why are women paid more money if there's no men in the house? It's an incentive to break up yeah. the family. That's all it is. You have to understand who you're dealing with. A These people are sick mm -hmm. in the fucking head, mm -hmm. and they think ahead. Everything is chess to them. They fucking have planned this out for decades. Crack cocaine in the L.A. in the 1980s. 80s, that yeah. was meant to take black men out. Mm -hmm. They wanted to take the black men out of the fucking family. They've been working on that the for a while. The welfare state was their greatest game plan. Yeah, I agree. Like, I agree. Yeah. Lyndon uh, uh, B. Johnson with his fucking, you know, as soon as they fucking uh, uh, put a bullet in Kennedy, uh, they rescinded Executive Order 11110, which was signed 6-4-1964, which is an 11 day. And they basically uh, rescinded the Federal Reserve's right to print currency. The day John oh. F. Kennedy was fucking killed, they fucking rescinded that If order. I go back in American history and just keep hitting the 11th day and checking which executive orders, it's oh, always that, the that, big ones? Yeah, be, but that's, that, that's the big one. I think executive order, again, you guys listening can check. One, executive order 11110. So Kennedy waited until he had that 1111 to use that executive order to go after the Fed. They couldn't print money for basically six months, and they put a bullet to him on 11 22, 1963, right by uh, Fruit Masonic Lodge. I think we should talk about how. Like, wait, 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 wait. You're saying for the feminism thing, 
A lot of people say it's a depopulation thing to take care of the family, take out the family. I think, that, I think, that's I think it's a, just an attack on masculinity. No, mm -hmm. I think that, bro, they don't want people to start a revolution. They're they going to break the family. Yes, but it, you it's, can't it, be a real that, man that, unless you have a son that, or a daughter. That, that, period. That's the cherry on top, bro. They already if they fucking take out the family, if they fucking make all these women. Oh yeah, wars, their will is that's broken. That, that's, yes. that, that's a cherry on top. It yeah. comes with it. Sorry. But no, sorry. Think about it. they're taking love away from society. If you make women no longer attracted to men and men no longer attracted to women, there's no like benefit to becoming a high value man because you look out at society and there's no wives that you want a wife. So it it removes your motivation for things like men we only really want money and status to get higher quality women. And if those women out there don't exist, it's like men are becoming lazy and they're turning to porn and video games because those worlds are just better and they give that instant gratification verse. They're like, they look at men in the top 1% and there's like, there's no way. It's like those dudes are kind of born with charisma or born with intellect. But I think one of the things I've learned in life, like you can learn from people and take their knowledge and then learn your own way to interpret it. And if you truly Other live your life... Other people are catalysts, then. Yeah, but I, I, where I'm going is, I feel like all knowledge comes from God. Like, there is no new knowledge out there. It's just we are tapping into different, you know, levels people of awareness. People rediscover knowledge, though. There's yeah. knowledge that was in the Babylonians days that I've personally discovered myself and no one has before. You know, that, so that stuff is like, out there. That's like exactly what Carl Jung said, that human ideas, we don't create them. We just, you know, surf on them. Hmm. That we draw from infinite pool and it's oceans easy. of subconscious and we pick these ideas and the idea can consume you like if you go maga you could be docs destroyed and in prison off one idea one spell you know the maga being a spell i, 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 I was there january 6th i just didn't go in i knew it was a trap i, I had i knew it was a trap i, I had, I had <laughs> vip this I is said, a fed, bro. I, I, man, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you was a trap. I, 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 so I, did I. I was the la I was at uh, Trump's last speech in Washington D.C. Uh, front row, and it was really cold that day. And I, and I heard that Alex Jones is marching on the Capitol, and I looked, and I'm like, okay, a whole bunch of people with flags. Zerka, when was the last time there was a successful revolution with people carrying flags and nothing else? Never. Yeah, absolutely never. So I, you know, how I, I, knew, I saw that. And I was like, you know what? You know, how I knew it's a trap. To go to dinner. You know, how I knew it's a trap when I was watching all the camera footage and it looked just like the Boston Marathon. <laughs> I was seeing all the people on the roofs. I'm like, oh, these Trumpers are good. And it's not like I can call them and tell them. They're not going to listen. No, you said, so they, like, they got set up for a loss. Yeah. It, it, what the one thing that disappointed me about Trump was. He didn't even attempt to pardon them, didn't attempt to do anything. That was very disappointing. Just like yeah. Trump disappointed me with his support of the vaccine. That was very Your disappointing. Base is fucked for that was that. very disappointing. Yeah. That's well, listen, I, I supported the man in, in 216, 219. I helped the man win Ohio in 216. Flat the fuck out. So when it comes down to it, I know, you know, I fucking told Trump he'd be president in his face on October 22nd, 216 in Cleveland, Ohio. I said, you will be the next president because of numerology and astrology. He looked at me and laughed. I did not believe he ever thought he was going to win. Barack Obama made sure of that. This is the black pill right here. Orange. How many? No, no, no. This is the black pill, what you just said. How many of the left wing and the liberal political operatives sprung out their guys out of jail? Every BLM guy got sprung out. Our guys, nobody. We didn't do. We what, what, have you ever heard of someone in the Obama administration getting locked up? Eric Holder defied Congress. He he fucking didn't go for a subpoena. Nothing happened to him. That's why people love Obama. He protects his own people. He has a deep enough pockets to protect his own people. I had Malik here two weeks ago. He was basically telling me everything that was going on in Obama. This guy's a slick dude. A slick ass dude. And I gotta tell you, you ever remember the song by Michael Jackson, Smooth Criminal? Every time I listen to that, I'm thinking about Obama and how much money he's taking from Ukraine and how much money he has coming in from here. Wait, why mean, do you think Trump actually didn't do anything for J6? Or didn't well, do he, much? He, he actually didn't do anything. He, he, oh, no, but why do you think, is it like he's afraid? I don't of... think he gives a fuck. I don't think he cares. I really don't. I mean, listen. I know the people who are around Trump. For God's sake, he put a, a CCP asset in his goddamn cabinet. Uh, the, um, uh, Mitch McConnell's wife is a CCP asset. He had her as a trans protection secretary. And what's wrong with the CCP? You're a communist now? 
You know, I don't fuck with, dude, as a Catholic, fuck communists, right? That's an attack on Christ. Uh, and this is the only part that won't be going on TikTok. But hey, CCP, <laughs> CCP, CCP is the people who said you can't be gay here. Listen, listen, you can find some things in every civilization that you like, you know? They are, I'm, I'm not going to lie, the Chinese are kind of soulless. Bro, they run, you know if a Chinese dude runs you over in China? They go, the fuck, you know, you know they go what the fuck was that? And they keep driving. Like they don't, they you don't know, care if they kill someone. Dude, no manslaughter. Like I don't think they I actually know how to speak Chinese, Mandarin. Oh, right. what? 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 all you gotta do is like start making noises and get loud. What <laughs> that black rock? And then all of a sudden, people think you're speaking Chinese. It works every time. Me <laughs> how, nigga? I, Gary, <laughs> Gary, the thing that blew my mind, and I think he liked this with all his black magic stuff, is the Obama we can thing. You, you. Oh, yes yeah, we yeah, can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what? Yes we can was uh basically a little witchcraft. Is there something called Wiccan? So yes we can is. Yes, Wiccan. So it was a little spell he put on everybody. Oh, shit. I didn't know this one. Yeah. It was, what about Maga? They say that's like a Hebrew spell? I wouldn't go that far, man. <laughs> you're you're the best, bro. You will not turn on Trump. There's what so many mean? people who turn. What you will you never mean? turn on Trump. I need mean? guys like this. I just said the motherfucker fuck is the father of the vaccine. Okay, then, okay now you're betraying our movement. You oh, gotta stop. Really? I hate what. What? Trump that's is the only man. thing we gather around. He's the lesser evil. Yeah, I hate when we're, we're never attacking Trump again. But he's uh, the lesser evil. That's yeah. that. That's why vaccines great. Go kill you. Mm, yeah, <laughs> Go yeah. kill yourself. Go get your boosters. Especially. Well, it's a boomer thing. He uh, did the vaccine, not a boomer. He didn't know what the. Fuck. I don't think he ever took the vaccine. I think he yeah. took saline. He definitely didn't take. <laughs> well, or that Regeneron so, so, ivermectin. So I'm, I'm going to tell a story. I can't put out names, but there's uh, people who are very high up the food chain. Ben Shapiro. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> Why? Because he's Jewish. Yeah. Uh, don't worry, we'll go after no, him. He's we'll, 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 we'll go after him soon. Uh, everyone, take his turn, man. You know, Ben Shapiro would hate me more than you. Why you JQ harder. <laughs> I actually go into the Vatican with my content. You JQ into Israel. He'd kill you before he kills what me. What do you mean? I'm his brother, man. Shalom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, man. You you want to know how you betray your race as a Jew? I have blue eyes. No. <laughs> My eyes are green. Yeah. Okay. That's that's still white. Like a people. snake. Jews have brown how do, eyes. How how do Jews betray their own race? I don't know. Anything? Come on. I, I'm, I have I have what? Wow. Black. This might be a. I got kids to feed. This, this is a first time moment. He's silent. Uh, Jews no. betray their race by being poor. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh shit, damn. Yeah, when I meet a poor Jew, I go, damn, you're like the Down syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> you're like the autistic of the group. Like, what happened, bro? I don't bro? think I could do this with anyone else but this man, man. You ever meet a poor Jew and you feel extra sad? Like, can you be a comedian? No, you, I, I, what are you gonna do, bro? I actually don't feel bad because they have all the advantages of life. They have more intelligence, all that. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I, you know, what's funny, though, in my experience, one on one conversations with rich Jews versus poor Jews. If you have a one on one conversation with a Jew, no cameras, nothing like that. They literally say to your face. Yeah, we run banking. But on podcasts, like, eh, I don't want to say that for my business stuff. I've had so many Jewish friends go, yeah, we run the game. What's up, mm. nigga? And I go, what the fuck? Say it on podcast. They go, no, bro, I don't want to look like you crazy on the internet. You can't hate on them for killing it. If you view life like a just competitive sport. Where... No, you, we, we hate them for rejecting Christ. No, we don't hate them. We don't. We say we love everyone. This love speech. Except those black people are getting on my nerves. Stop. Stop. I'm just like 50% of the crime and you're like a minority group. 50%? They're not, they're, Gotta get it together, that, that, bro. That, that warrior gene, you've ex, you've explored that gene enough. This, this <laughs> isn't me. This isn't me. This is him, man. Shut up, old block. I, 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 I'm basically <laughs> saying that's because they're raised by women. And really? Men. I'm saying it's their little pigment. Their skin cells tell them to make, no. to, to fucking steal. Bro. Do you know why? I've tweeted this too. Do you oh know? Yeah, let's go all the way. Hey, bro, this is fine. It's you, not you, like you, I'm you, talking you, about you, Hebrew you know, Israelites. You know what? Black Hebrew Israelites. Talk, let's talk about that. You, you, you're, you're talking to blacks. I'm talking about Israel. Let's mix it up. Let's talk about the black okay. Israelites. Here's why black people rule the world. <laughs> Since when? Trust me, I'm going somewhere with this. Uganda? Who are the fastest sprinters and runners on earth? Blacks. Why can they not swim? Because it's much harder 
to steal a TV in the ocean. I, uh, Oh, listen, man. listen, you're horrible. <laughs> you're horrible. Wait, Why can't they swim? I gotta you're, know. Is there a bone density thing? You'll never see you're in the horrible. Olympics a black dude swimming. Hey, on some I, re- on some real you shit. You ever though. been to Detroit, man? I, listen, I don't think you bro. should ever show your face listen. there at a few other places, man. You might be I, it might be difficult for you, bro. Because of They're their really low might. IQ. They're gonna kill me. <laughs> okay. I need I need some more content with you before that happens, man. <laughs> I mean, this guy makes me look sane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's hard, bro. I'm usually all the fucked up one. No, I never one. go to Detroit or any like. Uh, you better not go now. No, no, no. no I actually I drive around south side Chicago. No, I swear. I, no, I drive. I'm smart, bro. I'm white. I drive around the black cities. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Wait, wait. On, on some real shit though, he's he's right because you cut the head off of the family unit, which is the man, and then you use fucking rap and all that shit to just inspire a culture that like I'm masculine. If I fuck everyone over, that is of my own, you know, race. It's like they just breed inner fighting through a bunch of fucking. I, I, programs. I just want to say there's no black people on this panel, and we're talking about black people. How do you think that works? Well, you know what? You know why you guys are uncomfortable? Is every day my content is with my black friends. Oh, I don't care. You don't have dude. black I friends, so you, you guys talking? can't do these jokes. Thirty percent of my uh, students are black. What are you talking about? Oh, no wonder you're offended. I'm not offended at all. <laughs> I'm just telling you. They're listening. They're, listening. they're like, who you is this? You have a thirty percent chance of getting robbed in the studio. Uh, no, it never happened, man. Uh, I uh, make sure the people who get in my group uh, pass a non-disclosure, sign a non-disclosure. You know, I, I genuinely, uh, I don't believe all that, uh, those stats for black people and stuff as much. Because when black guys have Christ, they don't fuck around. The like Jesse Lee Peterson, even a Muslim black guy I like Malcolm him, I, X. I want him here. Get that. David. You can get him. I want, I want Jesse Lee Peterson here. Man. Well, I you'd have to go to him. him. He's the old man. Is he? He's not going to. Just like. Maybe we should try to get some like the old yeah, express here. He's racist. He actually doesn't like black people. He I'm sure. I'm he's, sure. But he says they need Christ. To they be need Christ. Fixed. Does that fix them? Not even God can fix them. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, You're yeah. Horrible. They need Christ. <laughs> You're a horrible. Yeah, yeah. Don't let me. Go. Okay, next conspiracy. Uh, chat. We're gonna go into uh, what's a conspiracy? We. 9-11. Who did 9-11? Well, no, we already talked about that. Strong, we can talk really? about the Titanic. Strong. Do we have a dancing we can talk about party? The Titanic. Oh, yeah. The Titanic, Titanic was, sunk. was a, was a Torpedo. hit job. It was a hit job, the Titanic. Uh, basically, uh, Bankers? Yeah. Basically, uh, in, in 1912, there was a guy in America called Mr. Uster, and he owned... Is this four... Jekyll Island, niggas? Yeah, but this is 1913. We're yeah, in 1912. So, You're yeah, jumping yeah. a little bit ahead. Let okay, me tell you the story. Right, so, right. in 1912, you had uh, the, this guy named Mr. Uster. He owned 40% of all the mortgages in the America. Could you imagine a gangster... <laughs> Who owns forty percent? Even Chase was that Italian like, guy, right? Uh, I think he was. He was. Yeah. It might have been, but it, even Chase, I think, owns like ten percent. This guy owned forty in nineteen twelve. So the Illuminati wanted to basically create, uh, uh, basically, a Federal Reserve. Uh, they couldn't do it because this guy Uster was paying off politicians to be against it because he was making too much money. So they made sure to create this ship. And they put everyone, all the rich people were supposed to be on the ship. The Morgans, the Rothschilds, all the richest people in the world were supposed to be on the ship. At the last seconds, the Morgans and all the Rothschilds got off the boat. Mr. Uster fucking died on the boat. Uh, all of a sudden, all the money that was going to the opposing politicians dried up. By 1913, here's where Jekyll Island comes in. They signed the Federal Reserve. Now, in, uh, after they signed the Federal Reserve, they have the money they need Start World War One. Well, and, explain and to them, got, Federal Reserve for the Zoomers. There are a lot of young people who watch this stuff. You don't pretty know what much the Fed it, is. Here's what it is. Your people right? don't know what the Fed is. I don't got no Jews in there. I'm <laughs> kidding. Yo, here's what it is. They give you five dollars, and they, here you can have five dollars, mm-hmm. and then you go, but pay me back. And you go, where do I get enough? Where do I get the money to pay you back? And I go, here's five, but you owe me ten. And then mm-hmm. that's what it really is. It's like the most evil system. But the Federal Reserve, no one links this. Is World War One and Two? It literally made. Am I correct? Mm-hmm. But I don't even know what I'm saying. So to, you they, have to fill, the, fill so, in this so, part. So, so basically, the Fed was used because they need the money to start the wars, and without the central bank, they wouldn't have the money to actually start the wars. So that's how it worked. Titanic, uh, get the Fed. World War One, and then World War One led directly to World War Two because it's the World same war, war really. In in a sense, uh, the Germans got a bad deal, and because the Treaty of Versailles is like made for they the Germans got a really bad deal 
and World War One ended on 11-11 at exactly 11 o'clock. So these motherfuckers are still firing bullets at each other mm-hmm. at 10.55, but 11, it stopped. So basically, if you understand what numerology means, just like 9-11, you're not going to have peace under the number 11. So they made sure to do it at 11, 11, at exactly 11 o'clock to make sure there would never be peace. And around two decades later, World War II starts, Hitler fucking tanks. You blow in my mind, this even at 11 o'clock? I mean, yeah. I mean, listen, most people, if you ask them if they have any sense of spirituality whatsoever, they see 11, 11 on the clock at least once a week. You know, most people see stuff like that. That basically mm-hmm. means your vibration is spinning at a much higher plane so people can actually, you know, tap into that consciousness. What is today? Today is the 11th, and this is a perfect day to do stuff like this. You see why all these people are getting emotional? Because it's the 11th. See all oh, these shit. people in the chat room. Wait, did all you do that on purpose? Right. Of course. Of course. See, well, I mean, we're me. supposed to meet up yesterday, though. And that's why we're flowing so good? Mm-hmm. We're supposed to meet up yesterday. So mm-hmm. I, I I, figured it would be either oh, yesterday yeah, we or today. But today is even better because today is mm-hmm. the 11th. Uh, this is when you hit people. This is when you, because people are going to be emotionally charged today. You always do stuff on the fucking 11th, man. Talk about the uh, lunatic and moon shit. Well, fuck. Whenever it's a full moon, people get fucking crazy. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, this is a this is it's a like case. a full charge. This is a case where the astrologers were ahead of the fucking scientists. Uh, for 500, 600 years, astrologers said whenever it's a full moon, people get crazy. The scientists only caught up about 70, 60 years ago because they figured out the moon pulls on the tides. Well, me, you, all these people here, we're 70 fucking percent water. So when it's a full moon, it's going to pull on us. And some people in that case get more emotional. So that's why, especially if you're a Cancer, a Pisces, a Scorpio, don't do much under a full moon. You might fucking fuck the wrong person and get pregnant. You know, not not what you should be doing, man. That, you know, there's certain times you're supposed to lay low. Wait, if you master this numerology, you could fuck a bitch raw with no condom and predict she will not get pregnant? Could you do I mean, you, I mean, I mean, I mean don't she, try I mean, this if the home. bitch is on her period, yeah. You don't need a numerologist for that, pit. Okay, that's, that's, <laughs> if you're willing to get Why would anyone bloody, fuck someone on a period? You do that. Hey, you, hey, brother, I don't know anything about that. I'm yeah, just giving you options. Who, if you run red lights, that's a satanic ritual. But I read somewhere that why women bleed. I don't believe this, but... Do you trust anything that bleeds and doesn't die? The who? Do you trust anything that bleeds and doesn't die? <laughs> That's a vampire. <laughs> Yo, hold on. They, That's they, a they, def- they definitely suck on our emotions and our wallets, but you know, it is what it is. Love you, baby. I'm not talking about you. <laughs> I read somewhere that why they bleed once a month is the man has to ingest it like adrenochrome mm-hmm. to be revitalized. What is adrenochrome, Go. <laughs> uh, got me. Go ahead. You what the fuck? You just talked about Pizza Gate. I'll refresh your memory. What is it? Uh, they they drive up the adrenaline in children because when you get old, if you drink blood, it's like stem cells. Like it rejuvenates your fucking. No, body. I, I knew what you're talking. They terrorize child just and they yeah. name. Yeah, it's the same reason they terrorize society. It's, it's the same. It's the same the reason they charge. fucking terrorize these animals when they kill them. Mm-hmm. Is this the fucking, Mayan ritual they, with they, the they, heart? Right? And they infect the fucking meat mm-hmm. with fear. Yes. 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 So, yes. Yeah. 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 So That's when you I, kill an animal, it's best when they don't see the blade coming. Mm-hmm. If they see the blade coming, they have fear. And it affects the fucking meat, and then and you, you get anxious get eating it. Yeah. You get couldn't even get cancer from it. Your emotions are chemicals in the body. Like when you think a bad thought, it tells the body, "Hey, go create dopamine, serotonin, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Create a negative emotion or a positive emotion." So if all these animals are super scared, they're dumping all these chemicals into the meat, and then you're eating that, and then you're feeling like all that shit. So like if you're being pushed to go towards spirituality, like eat lighter than like foods, like. Fruits and green shit because that shit grows closer vegetarian? to the sun. Vegetarian? Not full of that. You still need meat, but like you need it slaughtered by a farm or something. But like the fruits in the green shit grows closer to the sun. It gets more light. It has a higher vibration. So when you eat that, you can up your consciousness in vibration just based off what you're putting into your body. Like everything's input output, and you're supposed to eat from nature. That's how God intended it. So like. If you're not eating within nature or eating after a kill when the meat is fresh, then like you're just stuffing your body with low frequency and now your consciousness is stuck in that level of vibration. It doesn't matter how hard you try in life, how much money you get, how many women, you cannot go beyond your state of vibration. You are operating within, in a paradigm 
that is the matrix. The matrix is mental, it's your mind. Andrew Tate says the matrix is outside of you, it's not, it's all mental. All of reality is a projection of your mind. Wow, he's you're, spitting. How, how you think keep he did? going, what the fuck? He spit pretty keep well, going. man. If you flow, keep going. Well, Matrix, I, I, keep going. Come on, you gotta keep Bro. going. That's the point. You can put me. You can put him in a room for thirty minutes. He'll talk nonstop. You can right. do the same thing with me. Well, well, let's go, brother. I'll send it back to the marijuana. If you smoke weed, you'll forget what you talked about five seconds ago. But it will help you channel higher consciousness. Like I think we talked about, like weed's kind of like a psychedelic. Like it's a plant. Think of a plant as a living thing. It's conscious. When you smoke weed, the reason you're getting deeper thoughts and higher knowledge is because you're smoking the earth. You're smoking a you know, the vibration of earth, you're getting in tune with the vibration of earth, and it's bringing you back line to base consciousness, the higher consciousness, Christ consciousness. Think, think of God and Christ lives within you. Half the time you think you're thinking, you're actually listening to Christ. The way God and Christ talks to you is through your own voice inside your head. You need to learn how to shut up and channel that inner <laughs> voice. That, that's what, to shut up, not be quiet, but yeah. shut up, huh? If people in there say you're a vegan. Vegan? No, I I, I love. Uh, actually, I don't want to phrase it the way I was just. Gonna you know, you know. Let me tell you something. Let so you just I love go, meat. Let yeah. me just go back yeah. on a couple of things you said. <laughs> Number one, fruits and vegetables, they're great. The problem is mm -hmm. most of these fruits and vegetables are being watered with yeah. uh, fluoride. So it doesn't matter if you fucking eat them, you're still gonna get fucking that pineal gland that, decalcified. The, that's the big problem. So that's why I stopped being a vegetarian or that fruit and dairy and whatever, mm. because the water, the plants you eat are still fucking watered by fucking poison. Mm. So it really doesn't well, matter. I mean, it, that's the big like where nihilism comes from is when you realize you're in the US, there's no fighting. Like you got chemtrails over you all day, you got 5G and you're you can't get good food or food. But you can make anywhere. that bag. You can get bag and then you can get out of the US. <laughs> you can make that bag though. That's right. We're not leaving the US. Fuck that. But you, you said penile gland and a lot of people don't understand this. Dude, people who worked in the Treasury, Federal Reserve, all movers and shakers in Masonic literature, they say that's the seat of the soul. So right, They write about it and they say right it there. fires identical mm -hmm. with the same genetic makeup as a firefly. You know how firefly glows? Apparently you can tap into that and make it glow. Go, go but it's a Vatican. Luciferian type of you know, go thing. Go to the Vatican and you'll see um, basically the pineal the gland right there. They, the they have statues and stuff. So basically, if your pineal gland is not decals is is not calcified, all the things you think of, telekinesis, transportation, uh, anything you can think of, you can do. And that's why the elite have to make sure that all these foods are basically uh, damaging our pineal gland. They don't want supermen. They don't want people with super ability. They want to keep us dumb. And, you know, I, I got to tell you something. Do you really think these people would be in positions of power if uh, we had our pineal glands working at 100%? Mm -mm. They couldn't control us. They literally couldn't control us. So, again, they, they, they use low-frequency music. They fucking make people fuck whores. The 433 hertz? It's all hertz? garbage. 433 hertz? Or what was, which one was it? Yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of them. Yeah. Five, eat, eat five, five, yeah. 528 is a pretty good one. I like that for sleep. Mm -hmm. They'll induce different states of consciousness, and you can use sound to heal. That's a big medical industry yes. shit. Oh, it's, yeah, that's so buried. You can all, use sound. All pills, yes. all that medication. You should not take they, any Didn't they kill some cancers Earth. with some fucking vibrating machine? Did, didn't, yeah, you, that, it literally, the vibrations can just make the cell burst. Like the bad stuff. And this is illegal. You can't even find this on Google anymore. Right? I mean, there's still, you can well, use I it. Mean, but... There's a lot of people who make a lot of money. You'll never see it on sick. Ellen Degenerate. You'll never but see it they, on TV. That they, they create sicknesses and then sell you pills that just keep the <clears throat> sickness suppressed. Like everything is orchestrated to get money out of you. And it's scary. A lot of people don't realize so that, like, this cash the, rules everything around this is, me. This is the best content ever. One in the chat if this is the best content ever. And yo, from the stuff I researched, the de how to deepen your conscious soul or mind, or like, let's say, penile or whatever. Pineal gland. Pine yeah, I can't say it. But uh, pine cone. Pine cone. Apparently, <laughs> the, deep, the, the number... The Zerka, uh, the number the three things system, you can system, pine cones. <laughs> the number three things you can do. One was fast until you're literally dying. Apparently, that reverses, in, uh, freezes aging, right? So fasting is the number one thing you can do for your soul, your conscious brain, your male side of the brain, right? That you need to focus on. The next one was uh, actually uh, getting sun 
so much sun while napping close, with close, your wife close with your, your love partner you have to nap eyes, with her close your eyes and look at the sun while you're in water that yeah. helps and then uh, and for the fruit one it was like first of all if you google what a real banana looks like there's very yeah, few, like this shit here yeah these are not real bananas so i we, didn't know what real fruit was so i went to russia they fucking the raspberries like uh, this big all of the, the strawberries this big yeah. everything's smaller over there and then you find out everything here is on steroids and and when you eat these real foods you never experience bloat or any of that weird yes. stomach stuff yes. and you take magical shits. you don't get sick either you bro you take the cleanest shits. it's like it's like what the fuck, right you know I, my girlfriend would wipe my ass twice when i would eat real fruits mm -hmm. here you were eating some bananas this big right like they're fucking you have fake. a girlfriend Zerka? no i don't have a girlfriend I have yeah, yeah, a play that back. I think... one girl at a time i'm not these gay red pill guys if hey. you have a hundred girls you're a homosexual you, you know what my dad told me? My dad said any dude who's a player is a homosexual. Why? Because he's addicted to deviancy. He's not doing it for multiple women. A real man has one. That's how it's always been. Okay. And, and it's in the Bible too, yeah. Uh, I think we should put this on the podcast. So, like, I think you and me... I want to keep attacking Red Pill. I hate these fucking hey, players. Who's the, who, who's the guy you hate most on Red Pill? Well, you showed me. I forgot his name now, but uh, you traumatized uh, me. Uh, uh, I liked him. I liked him. He had Sartain. good stats, and now yeah, yeah. This is his girl yeah. completely destroyed him. It was Let's worse see. than how you made it sound. The clip was worse. Waller is a pretty big joke. He has no charisma. Let's see who else is big in that community. It always comes down to temperament. Like this guy will smoke weed, but he's always angry. Oh Waller is never angry. What Sardane? Never angry. Men who are not angry. Literally get whipped by their wives. Us, no, bro, we'll go no. live and beat up our wife. No, I'm no, kidding. No, no, I'm no, kidding. No, no, no. It's, it's a joke. That. It's a joke. Never We're that. Not, right? Maybe get a time you machine. Can, go to 1950s. Yeah, I'm you kidding. Can go into Russia and whip a, a, whip a woman's ass, hey. but not here. You know, I have always said to every girl I dated, I go, I'm, I've not hit a woman, but I need to know that if I ever strike you, would you call the cops? And <laughs> she, I just want to know. That's all I want to know. And I'm like, put a lie detector on me. You can't find me. Say I've hit a woman in my life. But I want to know. And Only then from behind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You put it out there too quick, bro. Like, That's yeah. illegal in MMA, bro. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. You're right. But no, I'm serious. It's like when you guys get in the dating world and stuff like that, if you, yo, hell hath no fury like a woman scorn. If you make her jealous, she's going to call you a rapist. You're going to prison forever. Mm, yep. And that's why one of the biggest problems in society is when women fucking just make false charges. Mm -hmm. And then all the after they find out the f charges are false, nothing happens to the woman. Yeah. There's no accountability. There's no arrows. There's absolutely no accountability. Has to be I, I think there has to be a law. A precedence has to be set that if a man was going to get five years for a fucking rape he didn't commit, when the bitch fucking... Basically, evidence comes to she, she raped his shit. mind. He's and traumatized for five life. years. She gets five years. No, she gets ten. Mm. She's a woman. Stop. It, women, it, <laughs> women will go the farthest for revenge, a lot farther than men. Oh yeah, people think I'm vindictive, man. They have no idea how women are, bro. It's scary. Like, Actually, like when said, you when you look at men and women fighting on the street, their own gender. You know, when a man gets the top position, he actually stops punching the other man. Has mercy. If a woman's on top of another woman, she'll never stop punching that bitch in the face. It's like an animal. It's chaotic. Yeah. yeah. Um, when women are emotional over a relationship, there, there's nothing. There's yeah. nothing you can tell them. There's nothing mm. you can do, man. Also, it's gay if you're trying to make your girl, like, actually lose her you're mind water. being jealous. Guys yeah. do that. That's just gay, water. bro. Like, so make her I'm jealous to get her pussy wet, but don't actually make her lose her mind. If you're a player, you're a homosexual, you're not a part of my movement, go back to Red Pill, where your wife is telling you to shut the fuck up on podcasts, and you go like this. <laughs> hey. Zerka, let's talk about... Bro, that was the one time he should have broke the law, if you know what I mean. He, to save he, his brand. He should have said something. I can't believe said? he did it. That, that's pathetic, man. <laughs> I mean, I didn't say hit the, the, the woman, but... That's God, the one time you should go to prison when it's live, when she doesn't do... Hey, imagine kidding. if he did something when it... it, it, yeah. it, it his but, fucking... It, his it, fucking... Imagine if he... He gets rich. It, he would be the biggest He's like the red pill god. He would be the god. <laughs> Rollo would step aside because yeah. Sartain. Like, yeah. We would all bow to him. We'd hey, all... Hey, 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 people 
people think they're following the Tate right now, yeah. he would be the new Tate. That was his advantage to actually do something, and yeah. he fucking blew it. Like, Nigga, I'm really about fuck. this. <laughs> I'm about that life. He's like, fucking, see, that's when you opens up the Hustlers University, right? From prison. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what's crazy, though? You can tell he eats pussy. Yeah. <laughs> You don't need pussy, thank God. Yeah, we need to talk about I that. I don't even have friends who do that. We need, hey, Zerk, I feel like that's why we lost that. Some dude. friends are lying to you. It's more dude. popular than, yeah, it's I more common. They, no, they're usually Libras. Libras really love going down. What do you mean? Well, Michael Douglas was a Libra, and Libras, he was married to Catherine Zeta Jones. So basically, when some guys go down, and again, if the woman's clean, this has nothing to do with them. But if you're a whore like most women are, you're going down on oh. them, there's a chance you're going to get throat cancer. Because that's what happens when guys go down on really? dirty ass hoes. Yeah, dude. If a bitch has been with more than two people, you better never go down on them. You hear that, hey. chat? So now it's cancer. Stop eating pussy. Women will cheat on you if you eat them out. Just You're not going to believe that at first, but go test it and see if Look, I'm, right. I'm not going to lie to you. If you're a high value rich dude who is red pill, so his wife does not leave his house. Where all red pill guys, their wives are social oh, no, media no, no, stars. Wait, 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 wait a second. She she actually has her own Twitter page. No, so, but yeah, she yeah. leaves her house to go to fucking clubs and bars like the red Never. pill guys. No. That's My girl goes illegal. to a club or a bar to get drunk. Never, dude. She's out there. Did you divorce she, her like that? She would never do that. Yeah. It, it's not even it, it's like that would never even come up. You know, it's like me when I said... Wait, was it instinctive things. for her or you have to train her? No, she came from a Muslim background. Okay, there it is. She's very respectful when it comes to men. I, again, mm -hmm. I would never marry an American whore. They're all the fucking disgusting. Okay. I think the only uh, decent women are in my group, GG33. You know? And again, if you're not a whore, I'm not talking to you, or am I? So what the fuck are you getting mad at? No, it is a whore. I respect women. I, I respect I, women. I, I don't. You gotta get hold on. If there's a good woman who's faithful to her man, you ain't gonna respect her. Find her, my wife. No, no, no. For me, find okay. someone. All right. yeah. Go find some, one yeah. woman that. Right. It, Prove it. This guy, if we took him out, he'd be, be like, "You guys are in Sodom and Gomorrah." Yeah. <laughs> you would fucking cool. cry I'm for cool. us. You'd be cool, mind bro. blown. Like it's not just girls inside bars too. Like it's everywhere. What do you guys think? The same shit didn't go on like 15, no, 20 years the ago. The social media and technology mm -hmm. has accelerated like nothing. No, uh, Marky, we appreciate the five well, gifted. Well, listen, listen. I remember when I was really fucking red pill for the first time. Um, it was about 1996. We uh, was after a high school football game. My team won. We're all celebrating. All of a sudden, I see a uh, whole like two captains of the football team fighting. Mm. I'm like, what the fuck they're fighting for? And then behind them, I see a fucking line. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? They were actually fighting who gets their, you know, run the train first and the girl in the bedroom. So that's what, what they were fucking oh, fighting over. Fuck. So they basically had a line of six people. They're like, yo, Gary, you want next? I'm like, get the bro, fuck out of here. Those type of men. Sick, 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 fuck. I've seen it all, bro. Those type of men ruin society. Like, I feel like the beta male choo -choo. Will, will do anything to get laid. So they virtue signal. Like, they support feminism. And all the promiscuity what shit. Because it's the only way what they can get bitch. laid. You imagine a lion. That. Imagine a lion fucking grabbing that gazelle and going, Hey, hey, male lion, you want to share this? That got to be the <laughs> gayest fucking shit I've ever seen in my life. If you ever ran a train on a woman with your best friend, you maintained an ejaculated stiffness and arousal while a dude is uh, uh, in the same no. room with you. He's fucking... Bro, it's I crazy. lose attraction for a girl if she looks at like another guy. Most, like, I don't understand. Most how. guys his age would do it. Most guys his age. All right, we got the merch. We got the merch. What are you doing? Is it shit like this and this? What's that? It's been beat up enough. He's 25. Most guys your age, if she's hot enough, they'll share the woman. Disgusting. I would be Destiny. Oh. No, no. He. I don't. Does he have threesomes? I don't know. His, is he actually married? You're friends with him. Well, he, he, this is what he does. His wife goes to fuck a dude, and he goes to fuck a woman, and they schedule it so they both leave at 6 p.m. So it's like it's she not like he's watching. She can't love you if she can go fuck I other can't, dudes. There's no way a woman can love you if she's fucking other guys. Mm. There's no way she can use you for clout money, high destiny, and she can do stuff like that, but she does not fucking love you. Mm. There's no way a woman's going to allow another guy to penetrate you if she loves another man.
The Come reason, on, man. The reason guys fall for that too is they've never brought real love out of a woman. So they don't even know what it fucking looks like. So they just fall for, you know, a woman using them as a fucking resource. Sam, I mean, so, it's it's so easy to know if you're doing something correct with a woman. They literally change all of the rules if they like the guy. For example, if Drake says don't go out, stay here in the kitchen and make a casserole, bitch. <laughs> They literally do it with a smile on their face. That means you're not Drake in their life. My first girlfriend, uh, the last couple of years, I'd, I haven't dated since 2016. I tried an e-girl for fun, like blah, blah. She didn't come for a month. And she's like, nigga, what the fuck? You're never making me come. You just come and you leave, right? I just bust inside and I leave. And she's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Look at you. Yeah, you know, but it's hotter to me like that. I'm, I, I hate women. And so check this out. Check this out. Uh, no, modern women. I love people. Okay. Our mom's age. I love okay. those people. Okay. I'll fight to the death, tooth and nail for those people. But check this out. Just I didn't don't like whores, right? Yeah. Gotcha. But uh, um, which are women nowadays? Modern women, whores. This is synonyms. It's synonyms, bro. <laughs> it's right? This is the thesaurus over here. But look at this. What was I saying? You don't even smoke weed, bro. Yeah, no, what was I saying? No, 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 no. I don't, I don't want, want to smoke, smoke you weed. I remember everything. This guy's right, right, losing right. it. So I, I thought I didn't think she'd stick with me. So I'm like, oh, now I have to make her come because she's actually my girlfriend. She's sticking around. But do you know they don't cheat? They do everything you tell them. I locked her in a basement for yo, a yo, year. Yo, 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 you don't incriminate yourself. No, 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 no. She, I, no, no, <laughs> guy, no, no, I didn't. Guy, I, didn't. Man. I told her from my country. You just you, saw what happened to you, Tate. Don't incriminate yourself, brother. No, I didn't lock her. I just said, you can't go out. And she's like, what do I do? I'm like, chill in your basement and wait for me to take you on vacations, right? So anyways, she didn't go out for a year. They changed the rules if they like you. So Destiny can easily say, no more men to Melina. You think she'll leave? 100%. She'll stay. 100%. She's not going to get a better guy than Destiny. That's the highest value she can get. You really think so? Oh, dude, for influence, I, money, I, I, network. I bet you, I bet you, if there's a guy she really liked, she could find someone and she'd be faithful to him. But the bond and her history, like, it's too, it's too destiny. She but can't like leave friendship. the world. She can't leave the DGG you world. Can, you, know, you know, when it comes down to it, sometimes you see uh, WWF guys come up as a tag team. Stone Cold broke, Steve Austin. When they break up, they become even bigger stars. Okay. So I, I, I would actually encourage Molina and Destiny to actually break up. <laughs> even if it's bullshit, just break up and get like... But would a high-value male say, oh, Molina, you're into open relationships? I don't think they date her. Bro, no, that's dude. like a guy like me saying... I, like, I, I wouldn't even fucking touch her. Bro, I heard I you give her a fucking hug. This, 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 yeah, this is my friend too, Melina. Hey, I don't hey, like Destiny. Hey, my hey, Melina's hey, my friend. Hey, hey, listen, listen, Melina. I I think you did a great job. I'll give you out. two hugs, Melina. I, I think you got did a great job pimping out Destiny. I think you did a great job fucking working that guy over for all the clout he had. Congratulations, <laughs> you're an intelligent woman. But uh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, you you're definitely a trainer. Wow. And uh, hello, Melina. Right, it's your friend John. Hey. The funniest or the best thing I've it's ever heard. It's my uncle. He's a racist KKK guy, right? He hates the Jews. He's a total mess. Right? Yeah, okay. The best thing I've heard you say, Zerka, was don't be her boyfriend, be her dad. And, like, a lot of dudes can't process that type of... <laughs> no, not that. Like, the framework of... Oh, girl, she sees you as equal. It's not so happening. So you go to Muslim nation. Hey, man, as long as you're not um, doing certain things there, everything's good. No, but, but but you know I gotta smoke weed, so I can't go to Dubai. But then well, again, they have hash. You know, they have yeah, yeah, but there's some people in Dubai who said they can actually get me some weed. Oh, they're degenerates there too. So, yeah, but yeah, sure. Check this out. Better not be trash though. I can't fucking smoke trash. You smoke some strong shit. You I know, know but you know you still stay fine tuned. Like I see you. Have you, you ever seen anyone else do that? Yeah. Just smoke fucking constantly and yeah. still fucking be in the game. Was it a cocoa buff? No. You know what a cocoa puff is? I don't do that shit. It's like when you sprinkle cocaine on the fucking joint. That, that, that's your, that's your <laughs> that's deal. Crap. Right? That's your deal, bro. Don't do that. But uh, yeah, you got energy somehow from that. Is it sativa? Yeah. Weed is gay. Don't smoke weed, okay? Unless you're gonna be Fuck this. You. If you're gonna be this anti-Semitic, racist, and sexist, smoking uh, uh, weed, okay. then okay. you got hey, good weed. Okay. Let me let me explain this. <laughs> if you're a dumb son of a bitch and your IQ is under ninety, do not smoke. No. What, okay. what about the hey, temperament? Hey, on, Talk on, about your temperament, bro. Some soft people that's are right, smoking that's, weed. That's, that's you right. have anger issues. You try that's to throw right. this kid off the balcony. If that's you're right. an angry guy, you can smoke a bit. But if you're a soft little vegan cuck. And you smoke weed? That's the worst advice he's ever given you. Listen, like, listen. hey guys, I'm gonna get more introspective. Hey, it tells you. If, if, if fucking line with Zerka. If you're low IQ, don't smoke. But then again, low IQ shouldn't have kids either. But that ain't stopping them. 
Actually, I've said if you ban contraceptives, who takes contraceptives? Smart people. Dumb people just fuck with no condom. If you I've ban been, contraceptives, been, I've, I've, I've smart been, people would get pregnant more and you'd equal it up. I've been fucking raw for 20 years, bro. Learn, that, learn how to pull out, bro. How do you have one kid then? Two. Two. You fuck twice in 20 years? No, that makes no I sense. fuck like about an hour a day. For, Holy shit, that's I a mean, ritual, bro. Hey, that's meditation. Hey, brother, listen, you got a woman like mine, you got to fucking make sure she's happy. Every day you fuck? Every day. Bro, when I have a girlfriend, I fuck once a week. You're saying you fuck every day. I mean, no, that's not going to work with a five life path, bro. Are you like high libido? Man, listen, man, I take care of my business, man. It's the only Jew that doesn't have, that he's not in the porn business. Like, why did Jews own the porn business? Easy money. It's because they you rejected ideas Christ. Now? You getting ideas now, Zerka? <laughs> yeah, She's like, let me call a couple of girls. No, we're going to... Yo, guys, this is good news. We're going to have girls here. We're going to do a different style podcast. But when we're mad at the girls, we're going to call them Zionists. <laughs> and we're going we're gonna to do other types of content. But once a week, we should have this kind of... We'll do it once a week. Yeah. Uh, I've had uh, very few people who can roll with me. You can keep up, man. I like that in you, man. Yeah, and you, you kind of like... I thought you'd know as much as me when you impressed me. What are you talking but about? But you're kind of pushing it. Yeah, I think you do know more than me. I, I can't say it because I got to make money too. <laughs> Show up, brother. Yeah, no, but yo, you were more on it. I had a panel with truthers and... Who? Who are these truthers you had the panel Myron with? Myron and Nick Fuentes. What, Myron of you know Fresh these people? Fit? Yeah. What the fuck does he know? He about knows everything about 9-11. Everybody. Oh, he does know everything about 9-11. Yeah. You call, keep calling me the Fed. Isn't he the one who works for the Feds? I mean, that's my boy. Fed, fed and fit, my... right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's my good boy. Name. Make a shirt that way, man. man you know, so you're in Miami. Man. You should go out, go on. You'd get him banned. Yeah, you, yeah. you think so, man? Because you, since you're he, rich, he, you don't care he, about he, saying he, it. No, he actually says astrology, numerology is bullshit. He doesn't want to talk to people. With well, I said that until I saw who's texting him. Oh, when I saw the okay. people who texted him, I'm like, yo, bro, you know I'm a Libra, right? I eat a lot of pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god! Oh, it's not much of these names, brother. What, so what's a Pisces? Get, hit me. What's the uh, good or Pisces, bad? Pisces uh, open at like Seven Eleven if you give them foot massages. What? You heard me. Se I work at Seven Eleven as an I Indian said, man. I, I said if you give a Pisces woman a foot massage, she'll be open at like Seven Eleven. Why? Because a lot of Pisces women tend to be whores, especially in America. Do I have to? Con is it is no, con you, consensual you, you, you or can, can I grab you, the you, fuck? You, 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 you a Pisces bitch? Just no, grab no, her. No, 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 you find out someone's a Pisces. Yo, yo, baby. But do I need consent to grab her? I, that's up to the woman. It that's depends up, on the state. Depends now that's on the up country. To G, you know what I'm okay. saying? So again, you see a Pisces woman, you give her a foot massage. Mm. You see a, a, a Gemini woman, you rub her shoulders. See every spot. A woman. You see a Libra a dude, size? you knock him out. You see a Libra dude, <laughs> yeah. uh, I guess. You know, yeah, you're a Libra. I just think it's funny. He's taking like a new level. Is he a Libra? Like, out I just guess. He's, he's, he's a Capricorn, man. Oh, yeah. He doesn't eat pussy. What's Capricorn mean? Uh, Capricorn's top of the food chain. Wow. What are you? Capricorn. <laughs> it's just like so, a hey, You guys, you guys need to the go. The go. The Do you guys time, need man. some foot rubs? <laughs> Yo, what if I was an undercover oh, faggot? Too. Would if I be invited to the podcast? Probably not. <laughs> That's the Fed. Hey. What about I'm I'm bringing Milo for next one. You want Milo? Milo bring him. Yellenopolis. He had good content. He was funny, but he was gay. Um, he's an interesting fellow, man. Have you met him? I talked to him. <laughs> Have very... you met him? No, no, no. I okay. don't meet gay people. <laughs> 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 I'll Skype him. <laughs> you still use Skype? Oh no, my god, yeah, this is 2005? I'll, I'll Discord him, excuse me. Okay, Discord. What about Lauren Southern? Do you know her? Yes. You met her? No. Do you know everyone in the right? Are you? Uh, I know more politicians than actually. I just got in this game. Mm. You see, people didn't want me in this game, so I just basically kicked in the fucking door and said, I'm going to take it anyway. Talking about social media, not Yeah, pretty not much. That. Pretty now, much. for conspiracies, what do you think aliens are? Well, if you take alien as a word, you take the A off and you take the N off the N, it spells out lie. So I'm not really Wait. sure I believe in most things. you got to look at Project Blue Beam. When in about 10, 15 years, they're going to shoot Jesus' <laughs> face or Muhammad's face, tell him that's the Savior, start you know putting in the, the, the uh, 666 chip, stuff like that. I'm sure that's all going to happen. I think we have to worry about... Um, cryptocurrency because once that becomes a fed coin 
uh, they're going to go f from taxing people to 5%, 10%, and they're just bringing up all the way to 75%. You won't be able to stop them. Well, there's, there's a lot of people on our side that says crypto is like free and it's not controlled. Fucking morons. <laughs> there's always Bro. a back door. You have to understand the government is never going to allow people uh -huh. to do things without a back door. Uh, fiat currency is coming to an end. The U.S. dollar supremacy is coming to an end with the fiat, fiat currency. So the Fed's only position is to go into crypto, fucking yeah. dominate that whole game because mm -hmm. the Chinese technology-wise are not ready to convert everything to the yuan. So I always, people, I hold on, let me finish. When people oh. think when people think the yuan is going to replace the dollar, that's not the case because they have nowhere to fucking push it. They don't even have a fucking SWIFT system. So you can't yeah. actually move it. Fuck those Chinese, uh, Chai Coms, bro. They rule the world, the Chinese. But I was going to say, after the gold standard. 1971. 1971 went off the gold standard. It was fiat currency. And after now, that. after fiat, we have crypto. Uh, What's after crypto? Crypto, is it... crypto, I believe, after crypto. Civil unrest. Uh, uh, I think what they're going to do is they're going to shut off the power. And when they have all crypto Cyber in about attack? 15, 20 years, when everyone's on crypto, they shut off the power. People can't get food. It'll be like bad for about 72 hours. They'll come back, turn on the power. They'll be like, okay, this crypto shit isn't good enough. Now mm -hmm. we need the mark of the beast. Now we need to start putting chips in people. So I think after crypto, they come to start going. That's chips. the cyber test yeah, you're talking about. Yeah, that's one. And then they push us back into COVID lockdowns permanently. Yeah, I'm not sure they'll do it with COVID, but they'll fucking find. Well, the excuse. COVID, the COVID war games prepared us for something. Yeah, yeah we're gonna bring it back. They're gonna roll it back. What if the vaccine was Elon's Neuralink? Then it just no. no. They, they, why? Listen, why can't it be? That, what, that, and the, the what if AI has been around longer than we think? Like AI can like recreate movies that look almost real, or like scenarios that look almost real. Like the government had technology fifty years ago, we're still getting now. Yeah, no, that's so, why it's scary. I mean, it think, is what it is. It's scary to think how advanced AI actually is, because like they only give the public shit after like okay, we've covered all our bases. Now listen, I, it, let's just hope Terminator doesn't happen. I feel like it's an inedible, like inedible that we fucking because, merge uh, with Because Zerka's comedy ain't gonna save us from a T2. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean I can't call it an N-word and defeat it? It's like it's scary like, Nemesis, how right? serious this talk I'll is. Just, so, I'll just load in the hard R's, right? That comedy is gonna defeat everything. Mm -hmm. I think we, what we really need is a president who uses the hard R. Okay. That's uh, free speech, I'll right? I'll be running in a couple months. We'll see if we can make that happen. Yeah. We'll I'm see, running we'll, on the F-slur we'll, campaign. We'll, we'll, we'll see if we can have a, a place in Zerka, if not in my cabinet, but in, in the kitchen or something, bro, because you're going to be pure comedy in there, bro. I have foreign dignitaries. Yo, Zerka, go in there and tell these motherfuckers what you think about it. They're from Africa or Nigeria. <laughs> hey, we'll Would start you, fucking World War Three. You know those guys who like start yelling at AOC and stuff? You think AOC's a plant, right? I think she's a hot bitch who has no idea what the fuck she's doing. <laughs> You know, she she it. As, as, as a matter of fact, AOC, if you're listening to me, I'm going to make this clear. I will give you half a million dollars to resign from Congress and I'll get you a modeling contract. And get the fuck out of there. Bend over. I'll, do whatever the fuck I'll, you do. Get the fuck out of Congress. I'll give you a better contract. Oh. I'll, I'll fuck the stupid out you. Okay. Is she cute? Yeah, yeah she, she's, she's kind of fine, bro. She's kind of nice. Bro. Yeah, she's Latino, so yeah, yeah, Latinos Latino are heat, top tier. Yeah, they're hot. What makes them so hot? They got they they got uh, that. Uh, they got, bro, you ever been called Poppy? No, but I call. Oh, him. look at the fantasies coming out this way. Like, it's a smile. It's you not fuck fantasy. a lot of these bitches. Store. Yeah. Do you ever do the colonizer thing in your head where you're like, it's an inquisition and you're taking over the Latina's Bro. land yeah. and pussy? Yeah. Do you ever do racial race sex play like racial not for twenty years? Bro. Oh, me neither. Me neither. Bro, you know what I've learned? You never say I like that spick pussy. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh my god. <laughs> no, Latinos love racism when they're about to come. Right. The only problem is I don't stop after. Zerka, you're gonna need bodyguards soon, man. Well, are you, you gonna, where are you gonna nah, need Mexicans bodyguards? aren't that big. I got them. Oh, you got them? Yeah. Okay, man. Uh, it's I, the blacks that are looking to kill me. Hey, you're gonna bring peace between the fucking M13 and all the fucking Crips and Bloods. No, you don't know my game plan. No, when everyone wants to kill me, you don't know my game plan. Literally, when I walk out the synagogue and I go, Shalom, and literally. I make one billion dollars and I sign my life away to the Zios uh -huh. and I turn on you guys. I say I call you guys anti-Semitic uh -huh. and I call the fucking ADL. Yeah, I already said that like three times. Is this your Tom Cruise moment? That That's, you've this is a on? Fed, right? At the top, literally, I'm gonna be a fucking what do they call Turbo Zio? Turbo Zio. <laughs>
I'm going to be at the Wailing Wall. Mass Have you ever been to Israel? No. You are the whitest person I, I've ever met. I'm never we should go Israel. for content. We're like, why are you fucking rock? Hey. <laughs> Have you seen the fucking dude? <laughs> What's beyond the ice walls, Erica? Oh, are you a flat earther? Wakanda is on the, the flat earther. Oh my God. Explain you, to, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is good. This is good. So explain to me how you can be here in, say, New York. You fly all the way over here. From one direction, you get to Beijing. You fly all the way from a different direction, you get to Beijing. How is that possible if the Earth is flat? Can you go round on a plate? Can I go around on a what? On a plate? Um, what does that have to do with airplanes going around and hitting the same mark? talking about like the reverse flying shit or what you, your question is how do you go around on a plate no, no 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 my question is you have a point right here this is new york city uh -huh. you go over here east you hit beijing you go over here west you hit beijing if the earth is flat how is it possible to go around in a 360 degree angle and yes you, you just uh, use an azimuthal equidistant map for gps targeting every every airplane autopilot uh -huh. uses a flat earth uh -huh. map they don't mm -hmm. use your faggot map your globalist the, the, map. The, 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 the pilots tell me the earth is not flat this is how you go most but look at the discord there's two hundred thousand pilots in the discord uh -huh. that are flat earth. this is how you go around uh -huh. there's your beijing okay you're th are you you're supposed to be smart uh -huh. this is how you go around okay you, and now now show me where is magnetic north it's right here there's no south pole on a compass you circumnavigate east to west like Christopher you, you, Columbus, you, you, you. and then south will be 180 degrees away from north. A compass is a flat earth instrument. The biggest, most banned topic in algorithm history is flat earth. In 2016, leaked by the Trump administration so people don't under, don't trust the establishment and Clinton. You, you know what happens. Yo, you believe in Mars rover that sends magical space Wi-Fi from 100 million miles away. <laughs> CGI photos. Are you fucking retarded? You believe in Pluto? How about planet X? Let's How about planet X, 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 X? How about the Milky well, let's Way? Like this. When it comes down to CGI, CIA, they make fucking bets with the NSA to see what kind of fucking psyop they can come up you, with. And how many fucking people they can get to fucking believe it? Congratulations, Zerka. You fell from one of them. People allegedly are laughing their ass off. You believe you're on a spinning ball flying through Yes, because CG time, time and gravity actually make sense. You can't have gravity without time. Time and gravity go hand in hand. So, yes, I do believe the Earth is spinning. All Mickelson Morley experiments to prove the Earth in, is in motion failed. Who, that, who, 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 who Einstein's. Einstein said the Earth is an observable, motionless plane. See the World Economic Forum like logo is the flat Earth too. Yeah, and you mentioned yeah, the and Georgia and Guidestones. And it has like, thirty-three sections. I get it, dude. If you look but at there, it, it this would always point to truth. I do North. not believe an the airplane Earth is flat. does not use a Mercator. An airplane autopilot uses our ice wall map, the highest shoreline on Earth. It doesn't use your gay map. If you want to land your plane, that gay map. No, I don't use anything gay. You no LGBT in my house, brother. Everyone's everyone hates globalists. But will defend their globe. Isn't that I don't, crazy? I don't defend this my is oppressors. Ryan Dawson. I do this not, is I, I do not for, defend my oppressors. I am telling you, they put psyops out there to fucking try to pick pe trick people from the real knowledge. Where do you they see curvature? Some, what altitude do you well, see what, curvature? What, what altitude do you see curvature? Let's where's your listen, your god well, of well, fake well, curvature? Well, listen, is listen, it at 120,000 feet in altitude? Simple. You believe in you? You saw curvature on a plane, I didn't know, you? I know that you have to have ericdubay.com space Flat Earth and time film. to basically spin. You have to have time to create gravity. Mm. That has to have a spinning motion. You believe in the theory of relativity? Yes. I feel no, like there I, is no Earth and it's we're all just dreaming. Oh, here like, we where go. are Bro, you? Two in psyops right here. Yeah. These Wait, guys. Hey. Where are you at? Oh, in the I, I think by the end of this, only Nick Fuentes bit the bullet and oh. said, "Yeah, it is flat." Really? Only Nick, bro. I will Only give you that. And like, and and it legitimizes the first page of Genesis. So for me, that, like you, if you say that he, it's a globe, then you pretty much give way to the devil, and that the firmament is real. What do you real. mean like, you give way to the devil if it's a globe? Where is this coming from? Because you you're saying the Bible's fake. 
Peter. We are the center of the universe, is what the Bible says. That's you're you're telling me said. the Bible is more real than the science that says the Earth is spins and there's time and gravity going there, hand in but hand. But the scientific method is on our well, side, tell not me yours. Why where, where you there's six show, experiments show, to prove the Earth is in motion. Show, they all fail. Show the fact that Jesus is real. Show the fact. Five hundred witnesses. Is. Why do the where constellations? Hey, constellations never move. Exactly. All right. Yeah, constellations of. They've been the same for thousands of years, but you say you're flying through infinite space, and look how they give infinity the attribute of God to space, time, and matter. Like, what the fuck? Your atheist God is gravity? Like, what Who's the fuck? Atheist? Who's and atheist? You know what's crazy? Who's you, an atheist here? Any bro, atheist here? I don't you know. Got, you have to here? be an atheist if you believe you fly. You believe right now you're on a spinning ball. Yes. You're a monkey. You yes. 100% we're on a spinning ball right now because that's the only way fucking gravity works. Okay, where do I see curvature? Prove it. Listen, dude. Go, you got the side. Listen, listen, dude. They the can never do this part. I don't have the equipment. You're, you're rich. Studio. You can go and go get a GoPro without a fisheye lens, no wide angle lens, no fisheye. Uh -huh. He can do the. He's rich. He can do the weather balloon Wait, test. You were supposed to see. You, you can't buy a GoPro. GoPro. You, you fuck this shit. I'm ending this. Yo, check this out. Pull up the Red Bull jump. Put it on screen. Okay, it's time to humiliate the globalists. The dude who jumps out of the Pokemon Red Bull. Yes, go on YouTube. It's time. You guys are coming to Christ today. Let's go. Coming no, to Christ. I think, hey, it could be no resurrection today, brother. And by the way, when, when Mary can have fucking kids without being fucked Bro, you believe in the Big Bang Theory. That's I even gay. I never said that. You said well, that's you the alternative. It. You said you believed in that. No, Not no, me. no, no, no. That's yeah. the alternative. Is that the Red Bull joke? Yeah. Okay, put on screen so everyone can laugh at your religion. All right, let's see this garbage. Okay. Probably I should tell you in advance. Let's see the garbage, man. There's no oceans. Not all of Earth is New Mexico. You're about to get humiliated. Wait, there's no ocean? What no, no, in this, in this. What the fuck is that outside no, I'm not right saying, now? I'm not saying there's no ocean. I'm saying you're saying that. Oh, okay. Look. There's no ocean. I'm saying that. I can look outside and see an ocean. Wait, skip to when he's in space. Like, go back to the other one. Or, or when he's skip about to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, here, here. Skip chapter two. Let's no, no, go look, straight look. to the point. Okay, what's going on here? Wait, can you go back and go to the other video? Yeah, yeah, this There's a better video. Oh, yeah, yeah. If this is improving his point, we need to find more evidence. <laughs> well, that's just taking forever. I want to. Uh, uh, there's a quicker video uh, that doesn't What is this bullshit, man? This okay, yeah, look at this. Uh -huh. Where are your fucking oceans? He's at 100,000 feet in altitude. Look, the curvature's on the wrong way. What it's a warping fish island. What are you talking about, dude? That oh. doesn't prove shit. Bro, there's no oceans because it's a fisheye lens. Oh He's not in space. God. Nothing has left low Earth orbit. Congratulations. Look at the fucking curve is on the wrong way. Congratulations, CIA. You got yourself one. Someone in Langley made a, made a bet that they would get some big conspiracy theories, and they got Zerka. I someone, never went to Langley. That was a joke. I've never been to Langley. CIA popped their cherry on him. I've never, I just had a friend. I've never been to Langley. I was joking. I don't know any CIA guys. Just one guy that's not even... About it, Nick <laughs> Nick Fuentes, who beats Hassan Piker and everyone in a debate. At 19, he makes a million dollars, banned mm -hmm. off every platform. He's considered boy genius. Is he? He's the flat earther. Okay. Okay. And so remember, Nick, remember, Nick Fuentes is the flat earther. What, what, so you have what's the average IQ of man? What's the average IQ? You have to be a white supremacist to be a flat earther. Is that what you're telling me? Catholic nationalist, not what, white. Hey, you're thinking of Richard Spencer. What if Earth is just born a on the dimension? Lens. Check this out, chat. 99% of people on Earth, very low IQ. Look at the studies. 99% of people on Earth believe it's a globe. It's literally, they run parallel. Another thing, curvature, he'll never find it. If he does the experiment, you will never, ever see a curved Earth, no matter what you do, he no matter how you make do it. <laughs> I want a Catholic check, nation. Checkmate. checkmate. But you guys don't have a solution. If you guys were in power, you don't have a solution. You don't have a holy book to fix the state. I don't need a holy book. Why would you fix it with Bill Nye, the science guy? I need guillotines. I need guillotines. Don't say that. They're going to fucking chop your channel. He's joking. They're going to take your channel down. Listen, man. If you go back to the French Revolution, they took care of people in certain ways, man. That's all I'm saying. A Freemason invented the guillotine. It's satanic. Don't kill anyone. That's not a call to action. You're not telling people to kill no, All never right. I would do that. Mm. And you, like you would never say anything racist. Come on now. No, I'm not violent. I'm of not course I'm not, not black. Of course. It's it's like natural selection though. <laughs> no, the, the, the one liners are something else. We're man. about to get some steak, but before we get steak, the final conspiracy chat can choose. No gay ones. Okay? No aliens, none of that stupid shit. 
the big one and we jq'd way too hard like let us breathe bro all right we're fucking we're gonna we're, and we're all feeling very suicidal today by the way speak for yourself <laughs> right okay all right what is the chat for us this is your opportunity to step up these are gay we're gonna Tart talk tartaria you you know and these are your people man really oh that's more free energy dinosaurs you believe in dinosaurs no what you you like all dinosaurs I, I believe, but I, I, I believe in space? In, i believe in dragons <laughs> i believe in dragons but no dinosaurs? Yeah, I think they're pretty much the same thing. Oh, so you do believe in it. Even I, no, though I, I named it differently. So when's my, the first so dinosaur my, bone so found? my reality is different. Chase, when's the first dinosaur bone ever found? I don't believe in dinosaurs. Beautiful. You that's, know a, what, that's a good way to be. You know when the face. first the dinosaur bone was ever found? Real. As late as the 1700s, and they teamed up with Darwinists to attack the Bible. Like mm -hmm. it's it, All bones in museums are replicas made out of mm -hmm. rat bones and resin. The real ones are in the Smithsonian Museum. But those are giants' bones. Like it's they a, used to be giants. It's the That's first because thing there was more about. oxygen on the earth back then, day, and because of that, people grew actually quicker, and so did animals as well. So the so Bible is correct again. Look at that. The Bible is correct, winning. man. Science is first correct. book I mean, we got on earth. Alligators and crocodiles uh, like, written by a man. Around. The first book on earth brought every civilization in the game. Mm -hmm. Atheists and scientists just bring their rainbow flags. How come you swimming? can't spell Bible without the word lie? Explain that one to me. Coincidence. Uh, I know. Are we going to do this? Nerdcast says coincidence. That's like a tap okay, out. Okay, do the N word. N-I-G-G-E-R. Find something there. Go. I, I feel like, hold on. <laughs> Religion kind of keeps us Across. stagnant. I'm kidding. Go. Like, do you get what I mean by that? Like... I feel like, do you feel like religion Stag, needs like man. an update? These, like, these two guys are fighting tooth and nail for a traditional society, and they don't realize it comes from biblical moral law. You guys are fighting for my movement. I, We're going to cut your heads off I first. don't need the Bible to tell me not to cheat on my wife. I don't need the Quran to tell me not to fucking steal. What? I know how to be a good person. How did you learn that? Doing? How did you and your ancestors learn that? Uh, you just woke up one day? My, 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 without dad, the Bible? my dad instilled values in me. Would, no, That's what happened. From the Bible. Now look not, at this. He wasn't, he wasn't Christian. It so doesn't no. matter. It's still, everyone on earth has heard the gospels for thousands of years. Bro. And look at this. Without the Bible, Missionaries. everyone in this chat and us three would be sucking cock <laughs> the bible said stop hey. sucking dick and oh, being God. gay this is where we got it from these are pagans this is yeah it's intuitive bro without the bible you guys are lgbt you How got does me that... fucked up you dude. really think you'd be like ah, i don't want to fuck the dude bro give me a break it's in your subconscious from the scripture never would i ever fucking do anything like that because i worship my woman's body that's the one thing I worship. But how do you know you don't like men? It's from the Bible. How do I know I don't like it's men? It's in your DNA it's for thousands. Your... Because when I see a woman, I'm fucking attracted to her. That's how I fucking know that. Oh, yeah. What if she's 17? Um, Yeah. If she hey. said, can a 17-year-old girl be attractive to you? All right, wait. Hold on. Disney well, movies. Why do you want to talk about I, I just want to. I want to make a, I make, I make so, a broader Zirka, point. Zirka, this is crazy. I'm talking about No, no, you. it's not crazy. Take it even further. Zirka, Zirka. No, I'm not taking it far. Why men, they be on TV watching something. Like, we watch something, and one guy will be like, yo, she's beautiful. She's hot. And they'll be like, no, she's 17. And you'll be like, oh, shit, I didn't know. Why? Take it West Virginia, don't matter. Right, that happens all the time. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's, 16, 14, those hicks don't care. That's what I'm saying is like all these kind of subjective opinions change over time. But for thousands that's of years, the Bible said stop stagnant. being gay. It's, a, it's the only stagnant. thing that You're stays. Involved. He thinks he's him and his ancestors are smart enough to think of 